Yeah. I have seven. Yeah. Yeah. Seven oh one. Exactly. Seven oh one. Exactly. Well, we are we starting on time for the first time in like forever. <laughs> Not really, because it's seven oh one. Yep. <laughs> you lose. We'll see. Seven oh one is better than seven thirteen or fourteen or twenty. Is anybody getting notifications? No. Nope. Do we we get notifications? If you yes, subscribe, we do. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't subscribe. On the, on the tube. <laughs> I'm waiting to be the <laughs> one thousandth subscriber. <laughs> All right, now you're gonna get a Wait. notification. <laughs> there we go. All right, so. Yep. Welcome everybody. It's the Drinking with Drew show. It's Tuesday, April 9th, 2024. How do you say that in Spanish, Joe? I don't know. I'm not Spanish. Oh. We have a lot to talk about. We have Jay Fred in studio, Garby, Lusty Laura, Pajama Joe. We're going to try a new beer called Dirty Bastard. And yeah, let's get to it. My name's Drew. And guess what? I'm drinking. Not yet, but you will be. And now, from the CapsFlorida.com studios in Riverview, Florida, (laughs) it's the Drinking with Drew show. Plumber's butt crack looks like boobs. You don't want to get the beers? We can get them out. What the hell happened to the rest? We're going to show them on the show. We're going to be like, here's the beers. (laughs) Do those require popper toppers? Or you're going to have your own? Yeah. We have four viewers. One, two, three. <laughs> you could have five if I was on there. How's it going still? All right. Welcome to the show. This is the beer we're going to be trying, Dirty Bastard. Now, this is a 8.5% beer. It's here. I'll, I'll, I'll just, yeah, you okay, put, yep, gotcha. yep, yep. Y'all are officially off mute. Um, assuming the mute's working, I don't even know. It hasn't been working the last couple of days or shows. It's tricky uh, at first, but you get used to it. So that does require a popper topper? Yes. Yep. And Do you want me to get it? Looks like it's extra challenging for Joe if you want to zoom in. Well, Laura, oh, yeah. Laura's taken like, the night off. Oh, mm-hmm. oh don't yeah. press her buttons more. I know. She's pressing buttons because I press buttons. No, she's not pressing buttons because I pressed her buttons. Well, we're here to happily be in the middle. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, can I, All right. I, um, let me see that that uh, that six-pack We're going to open it. Oh, yeah. You, know, yeah, you, you got to show up the box. Yeah. All right. So. Thank you. Yep. Dirty bastard. Got oh. a little higher. There you go. By Founders, eight point five percent. Um, you need yours open. It's need, a porter. We need Jay to read the bottle seductively. In a Scottish <clears throat> accent. <laughs> <laughs> go for it, Jay. I don't think I have a Scottish <laughs> accent. <laughs> Get in my belly. Exactly. <laughs> Get in my belly. <laughs> Open for something more fun to read on here. <laughs> oh, I do. Okay, so it's Founders Scotch Style Ale, Dirty Bastard, rich caramel notes and malty sweetness. Mm. And I'm sure this is good. You need your glasses. For Where this? the classics never go out of style, and new legends arise. Isn't that our theme here? <laughs> <laughs> it is now. Perfect. Yep. Okay. So, Joe, do you want to go first? Sure. Do it to it. Mm. Very flavorful. It's like a it's like a porter. I thought it was a porter. No, it's a no, Scotch it's a Scottish ale. ale. Oh, Scottish, Scottish ale. ale. But it, the caramel, you could really taste the caramel for sure. Okay. I mean, it's not my everyday beer, but it's something that I think you would like. Well, you would say, "Oh, that's a cigar beer." It might be. Let me try it. Go, Jay, before your head pops off. It oh, yeah. Looks like it. Right. Yeah. yeah, go ahead, Jay. <laughs> just, my, just my beer got excited. <laughs> Strong caramel, though, right? I, and I like caramel. I just don't like it in a 
I, I'm not a big Scotch style fan here. Mm. I don't know if I've ever had anything else called Scotch style. Yeah. Isn't that on Garby's top 10 list? I think it is. Scotch style? What's Scotch style. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want a kilt. All right, I'm going to give it a shot. No, let's go to Garby next, but go ahead. There it goes. He's not paying attention. No, I like it. Yeah. I'm a fan. I mean, I couldn't do like, you know, a whole six pack because it's yeah. just like boom, but Pretty intense. definitely a beer I could have, yeah. like you said, definitely with a cigar. Go ahead, Garby. It feels like, it feels like a dessert beer. Oh, mm. hold on. Yeah. Laura's going to take a no, swiggle. No, go ahead, Garby. Oh, I'm right. just going to do it in the background. <laughs> Oh, that was Laura in Ew. the background. Ew. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Thanks, founders. We'll make sure that Ugh. you sponsor the show with that comment. <laughs> Thumbs down. What do you think, Garby? Uh, yeah, I, I agree with Joe. Uh, his assessment as far as it's yeah, it's got it like a porter feel to it. Um, I would probably not drink another one. Really? It's okay. Yeah, it's it's Damn. flavorful, but it's, it's not something yeah, you could really yeah, not, sit around and yeah, enjoy. Yeah, cigar beer is a yeah, yeah. good description. Y- you need something else with it. Yes. Yeah. Like another beer. <laughs> yeah, like a better beer. Yeah, like a trash sure. can. Need like a Bud Light next to it to <laughs> yeah. even it out. What are IBUs? Should we know this? Barbie? Is this that, a Jeopardy I've seen question? That in other things before. 50 IBUs. Um, I think that has to do with the intensity. Irritable bowel units. That <laughs> makes sense, yeah. yeah. Budweiser, probably, Budweiser yeah. must be thousands. You probably got the units part right. So you guys don't know this, I don't think, but when we're doing the um, the audio version of the show, when you drink a beer, blah, you, blah, 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 you blah, hear blah, this. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so that's it, why we try to get everybody to do a good little sip. It's an international bitterness unit. Is that what it is? Yeah. Ah. And it's a what? 50? Uh, 50, yeah. yeah. Does it say what the scale is, like a 1 to 100 or something? 50 to 2,000. Oh, 50 being the lowest. The most. No, it can't be. It's gross. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think it's particularly bitter. I think it's it actually, does, yeah, it's not very bitter. Ugh. That caramel makes it kind of sweet. Yeah, but sweet to a person that's a beer drinker. Like a burnt caramel. Yeah. Like a toasted? Toasted caramel. I like that. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> that's him ripping ass. I'm going through some sound effects. Disregard. All right. He's got all week to practice this. Well, he wants yeah. to practice it right well, now. Well, you know. Yeah, they range from 1 to 100. <clears throat> so it's right in the middle. 1 being, well, I guess it doesn't matter. 50. How come one, we haven't seen this? Bud Light. Sure. How come it's we it. haven't seen this on other beers? It or actually have we has just, been. Not we just haven't attention. noticed it. Yeah. Yeah. The taste. I've, I've seen it. The Joe, taste. move your mic. It's like right in your face. Boink. That's the perfect spot. <laughs> 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 the taste threshold for humans is roughly between 4 and 9 IBUs. Mm. Nine? Probably yeah. it tastes like garbage to me. Doesn't taste like garbage. No. Yeah. Interesting. Mm. Two thumbs down. Where is Founders made? Local. Scotland. I think it's local, isn't it? It is local. Yeah. That way we're going to run into the, the beer makers in Ebor and have to scrap. Puerto Rico. Oh. Guess I was wrong. No, that's something. No, no that's, that that's was the... just for the five yeah. cent yeah. refund. Yeah. <laughs> It's eight point five percent though. Um, yeah. Maybe it says it on the box. On the yeah, where's the box? Yeah, it doesn't say it on the bottle anywhere. No, it doesn't. Oh, hold on. You found it? This is made in Jack's toy. Founders Brewing Company, Grand Rapids, Michigan. 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 Where did you see that? On the on the right side of the, the main label. Oh. It's going sideways. Need glasses. Oh. Yep. Grand Rapids, Michigan. Yeah. Four nine five. For you old Three. guys. You yeah, I never glasses. I never would have found that. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm I'm not gonna kick it out of bed. I mean, you guys like Founders for the other stuff that it has, right? Have you had yeah. Founders before? Founders, I yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Because I think you bought two more Founders too, like the breakfast stout and all that stuff. Sounds Five familiar. In my fridge. Mm, breakfast stout. That it's growing good. on me a little bit. But yeah, it, yeah. The first sip. I'm not right. having another one still. Like, no, it's like a fungus. Huh. Okay. We do have some Booter Bangs tonight. <clears throat> Excellent, delicious. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on our. Uh, Voodoo Bank t-shirts? Not yet. I'm going to wait till Lisa gets on. She's allegedly uh, on her way home. Yeah. And she'll be signing in. We have a male Booter Bank for her. You might want to figure oh. out how to like change this monitor so I don't I, see it in Well, advance. the problem is it's not going to happen tonight, Joe, because here's the thing with the, IT, the uh, HDMI splitters that I've been buying. Um, so the first one I bought was a 
was a switcher, not a splitter. Yeah. Yep. So then I bought the splitter, but that splitter, which is, you know, a $30 splitter, doesn't handle video. Ah. So I found one that actually does handle video, but it's 200 bucks Isn't compared to the weird, 20, 30 bucks. HDMI and is supposed to do both. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's, what it's meant for. I know, but they don't handle video coming out of a camera switcher, which is what I need. Yep. So we'll see. Maybe next week. I don't know. Do I, I mean, Maybe is, for the Buddha Bank segment, we'll just turn the monitor around so I can't see it. Well, just close your eyes when I tell you to close your I'll eyes. Look away. I just yeah. look this way. There you go. Close just, your eyes. Then he'll well, say, he'll well, say, bang. We'll just, if you do that, you'll just say, we'll bang. Just have to, we'll have to look each other and make eyes. <laughs> look at Garby and <laughs> bang. <laughs> look at, say, bang. Yeah. <laughs> bang. Look at Garby and just do, you go pre prep Buddha Bang. Yeah. It's too bad because really the best one I'm sure we all saw was the teacher pretending to be a 16 year old. And, yeah, yeah, I know. And well, she's, she's back. She so, wasn't a teacher. She was well, just a 20 something. No, I thought, to be a homeless I, no, I student. thought she had been a teacher. No, too, or no, she was okay, a 26 year old <laughs> pretending to be a homeschooled teacher. It's amazing. Or no, homeschool, oh, a homeschooled student. student. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was but, last week. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. That, that happens, well, she, well, she was happens a, like once a month. But here's the thing: yeah. she was a booter bang of ours like months ago. When she, when, she, when she originally got arrested, oh. she was a booter bang on the show. Oh. She and then like she got even she better got arrested looking. Again. She bonded out. Mm. and She's going went for that. I'm too pretty did for it again. prison. Hey, she's screwed because all the other kids coming now. You might have gotten away with it. I mean, with they were one, coming back. One, well, I didn't realize that it was at the middle school that I went to. <laughs> it's crazy. I wish it was yeah. the middle school that I went to. <laughs> I know. Well, exactly. You know, seventh and eighth graders around the world are like, why not me? Yeah, I wouldn't have reported her ever. No, who would have? <laughs> I mean, stupid. No. So we'll see. You know, I they never show pictures of the kids that she was banging. You know, when you because see a teacher, yeah, you're, you're, I know, you're, you're I know. Do a booter bang of a fifteen year old. No, 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 no. But <laughs> I'm just curious. I'm curious. Hey, if it's Bar Baron Trump is only seventeen and he's six foot seven. I'm curious Jesus. if it's those twelve year olds that look twenty three. You, you know, oh, or is it literally like a twelve year old that looks eight? I mean, if it is anything like when I was at that school, they all look like they're in middle school. Not a single fucking one of them looked like they were in high school. Not even you high probably school. had a D cup when you were going there. What are you talking about? You probably uh -huh. looked twenty one yourself when you were going there. I did not. You probably had. You had. I still have my. You probably I'm had. Go find them, and I'm going to show you that I did not look like I was twenty something. You probably had male teachers like texting you left and right. Or no, y'all didn't have text. Those were pre cell phones. Thanks for dating me. <laughs> they passed those little notes. This is so phone. much <laughs> yeah. better with yeah. angry Laura. I, oh, I yeah. totally yeah. prefer this. That's if we our, could stir is, her up beforehand. Does it seem like Jay's camera keeps like scooting over and over and it keeps getting further and further out of center? I feel like the camera just keeps <laughs> I think moving. it's Jay scooting over. I'm not. No, I think it's the camera. Why is it so? It's, it's where it is. I don't know. We can. Joe, if you want to get it's up like, and... It's like you don't even prepare anymore. You, well, just, uh, you, you spend too much time uh, eating. You, you're not allowed <laughs> to eat anymore. For now on, you eat on your own, Well, and then we come and It's not feast. a terrible angle. It's just, you know, we can see all uh, of you. It's not I, like your head's... I can see what's about to happen. It's not like your yeah, head's yeah. cut off. Uh, you know? da -da -da. Oh, that's there you go. There you better. go. Look at me moving without... Now, and we can even go to camera huh. six and see oh, both of you. Look at Camera two. Camera then you see camera how two. comfortable we really are <laughs> exactly. here in the exactly. studio. <laughs> um, should we really blind Joe and turn on this extra no. light? No. Yes. And you have the switch. You can turn it on right there and just fuck with them. That was probably my front face light. Oh. Now on. <laughs> I knew that was No, coming. it's mm -hmm. not. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, because the last couple times it's been on in my face. Yeah. But, I mean, we want you to look good, Joe. Well, there you go. We're not just you, Joe. We're not, I mean, I got the face for radio, so we're, good thing you have yeah. the audio version. We're not fucking miracle workers. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying. All right. So, <clears throat> how many do we have in there? Do we have more? There was a six-pack. Okay, you want another? Not yet. I mean, I'm, I'm not drinking them that fast. <laughs> but you're going to have another of that one? Yeah. Awesome. Wow. Yeah. Gross. I'll, leave, I'll do two, and then I'll switch over back to my black and tans. There's also an, a beer from last week, if you want to try that. Yeah. Um, the, the, were you here last week? No. 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 There's a beer that we had last week. The Bull, what was it called? Steve Austin's... Uh, Sk broken Skull. Bro broken Skull, which is really good if you want to try that. American Lager. Yeah. Try that. Okay. It's good. There's a big can. Big can Shit. of whoop-ass. Nice. Mm -hmm. Took it out of the, the fridge. And he what was he? Stone Cold or something? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Stone, Stone Cold, Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold. But he, when Drew took it out of the fridge, he clipped it on the on the shelf. So one of them started spraying all over the place in the oh, garage. No. Yep. So I had Thank to God open, it was in the garage. I had to open yeah. up and start drinking it right away. <laughs> Shotgun. I tried, but it, the hole wasn't big enough. It oh. was like 
It was like a slit, like a sideways slit. We've heard that before. First time you ever <laughs> had that problem. All right, Greg, do you want to do your top 10 list to start out with? Uh, sure, we can jump into know. it. Oh, Greg, Greg, Greg what is I hear, doing it's gonna top suck. 10 now. Okay. Yeah. Greg comes <laughs> up with them every once in a while. This is the first I've experienced. So, uh, yeah, I figured, um, so the women's uh, college basketball tournament it had more viewers than the men's this year. Yeah. Okay. So like figured, just at a protest or? No, no because, because they had some Clark. really good. It was a Caitlin Clark. Yeah. Yeah. So I figured in honor of that, we should talk about the top 10 hottest athletes. Caitlin Clark. Oh, I thought you were going to do sex positions. Yeah. I was, but uh, they were just it was, it was, too it obvious. Give me a quick, quick list. Cowgirls. No, uh, reverse cowgirl. Game. Cowgirl, missionary, doggy yeah. style. Yeah, it's quick. Okay. So I'll give you the Does sport. Does that include the chili rainbow? I'll give you the sport to help you guys try to guess some names. Okay. So number 10 is basketball. Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark. Just because you just said her name. No. Brittany Griner. <laughs> no. <laughs> She's on the top ten men's list though. Yeah. <laughs> um no Skylar Diggins. Never heard of Um her. I saw that porn. She's very good looking, yes. Do I, can I I don't know any basketball can I, players. Should I yeah, Google, Google these? Yeah, you should Google all right, them. All right, all right, yeah. Tyler Giggins? Skyler. Skyler. You can look for <laughs> Tyler <laughs> though. Yeah. yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Skyler Diggins? Skyler Diggins, Diggins. not Diggins. 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 Uh, Hold on, I'll try to look. Uh, All right, let me see. Oh, she is hot. Yeah, yeah. she is. Right. Yeah. Dude, just hit up her, right, her Twitter. You gotta, you gotta go to camera eight. Well, you gotta get the image pulled up. All right, it's camera. That's uh that's Skylar. Oh, look at her all muscular in the dress. Mm-hmm. She looks like the one from that uh, well, TV not that show. dress, the black dress oh. next to it. Was okay. that blackish? Okay. All right. She could kick everyone's ass in no, here. Number nine, um, Laura already guessed. So. The Bellas. Yeah. Oh. What is it? What? Yes. The Bella Twins oh. from wrestling. Bella Sorry. Twins. Yeah. Never heard of them. Oh, you know them. No, I don't. Okay. And so it's all yeah. like updated to the people now? Cause Miss Elizabeth. Well, because they're out of wrestling <laughs> Miss now. Elizabeth was way better back in my oh, day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Gator Babe is here. Uh, hey, what's up, it's Lisa? Not Gator. You just say it to it's piss gu- her off. It's guitar. Number eight. Mm-hmm. Is tennis? Uh, the Williams, one of the Williams. Oh yeah, Serena, um, no. and Natasha. Is there oh, a yeah. Russian? Yeah, the, the, you're gonna have Korn- to spell this out Korn- for Korn- me. Kornikova's Korn- hotter. Anna uh, Sharapova's yeah. hotter. No clue. There's so Those many are the only ones I know. But this is Serena Williams. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh she's God, on there. And you don't need to Google her. She's on there. Yeah, she's number eight. I don't. I don't understand it. This is the worst top ten list that's I think we've ever done. <laughs> yeah, considering he's just giving them to us because we're not well, going to guess. Them. No, no, no. You, might, no, you we don't have a chance. All right, track and field is number seven. You probably don't have a. Oh yeah, we're big fans of Shaka- track and field. Shakari Richards, right? Yeah. Bang. This is uh, Lolo Jones. Oh, Lolo. she's a virgin. She is a virgin. <laughs> She's the virgin. Yeah, How she do you came, know? She oh. became famous when she okay. came out as a virgin. Yeah, she yeah. is hot. After you have to, sexy have to track come photos. out as a virgin? Apparently. I hope I she, now, I what I have, when she has sex, I didn't think she I had celebrates to announce it and tells years. everybody. What if her and Tim Tebow get together? Is that, He's uh, married. He's no longer a virgin. Oh. oh. Well, we don't know that for sure. That's true. Uh, this one. What about the poop hole loophole? This one's hot. <laughs> this is, yeah. <laughs> golf. Um, golf. Oh, I know I don't know. There's one woman on, on YouTube that or Instagram that does golfs like with her titties oh, out. Oh, Paige, uh, Paige Spearnet. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. They she, just it's not her. She's not an actual golfer, I think. Or maybe she's she is. I don't know. She, she just she played college. This golf. is pa- get, go to eight. Is, is Blair, Blair, that, that's Blair Paige O'Neill. All right, so this is the girl Joe talked about. Paige Spearnet. Yeah. Paige yeah. Spearnet. She's hotter yep. than this one, but this one's hot too. I don't know any golfers. Blair that's the O'Neill. only one I know, and I didn't Blair, even know her name. Blair O'Neill. Yeah. I didn't know hot girls played golf. I oh, think I'm going to start know. golfing. Yeah. Oh, golf's fantastic. All right, at least I like. Yeah, okay. I'm. I'm oh, yeah. oh, that's pretty good. That's yeah. better than the picture I've got. Okay. Yeah. It's gonna be a new Booter Bang session where we just it, it, throw out yeah, athletes, athletes and they can be like great or not. <laughs> she like kind of. Like she kind of looks like that. Uh, the Playboy Bunny yeah. back oh, in the mm-hmm. day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, the one that was like really oh, Holly Madison. Holly, yes. 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 Yeah. 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 All right, number she five. Looked, she looks like she was on. Um, on uh, Bob Barker. Oh, one of the... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Price is Right. Price is Right girls. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. Number five is Ma. No, MMA. Barker's sorry. Beauty. MMA. Ma. 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 Why are you on this <laughs> list? <laughs> <laughs> but man. <Wait> <laughs> 
expect to receive your rejection letter from Mensa yeah. this year. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> no, that's but, that's that's real. I get. I, but man, I need glasses, yeah. uh-huh. that's great. Uh, Ronda Rousey. No, oh, uh, God, she's gross. Do you know, oh, you know, it's going to be that, uh, her yeah, name why is Paige, you, too. How could you say that? She watches the show. She is uh, Paige Van Sant or whatever. Yes, that she's one. Not, she's the one I do. But it's not her. Uh, it's not her. Those are the only two I know. Is it the one that beat uh, up uh, That's Ronda Paige Van Sant. Is it bad that we could only name, like, two this, like, yeah, female Paige athletes Van in Van each sport? This one was in The Mandalorian. Oh. Oh, she's the one that got kicked off of The Mandalorian? <clears throat> I don't know her name, but I know who it is. Oh, Gina Carano. Carano. Yeah. I'm going to spell it wrong. Sounds Italian. Gina. That's her? No. 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 no but That's hello. Karina. Yeah. Just put G- Gina C-A-R-A-N-O. Mandalorian. A N O. Karana. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I do remember her. Well, she's not bad, but. <clears throat> she was thick. Look, man. She's, she's thick. About to, yeah. not number five, could... though. That's crazy. Okay. Number four. Ooh, yeah. I mean, these kind of lists are very subjective. Yeah. Well, some. Yeah, this is. This is still bad. Even for aren't, aren't, I mean, it's, it's number a, four is not bad. I okay. mean, is it Soft. racist that there's only there's no there's no women women of color so far on this list? Serena Williams. There was, there was Serena, Serena Williams. Williams yeah. yeah, she's in. She's more than enough. I America. thought they were gonna say that Asian chick that was the golfer. I can't. I don't know her name either. But there's a cute. Oh, I don't know. Number five. Number four is softball. So I'm guessing nobody's gonna know her. No. Oh, uh, we're big fans. But, she's, but she is hot. Bianca Cruz. See it. All right, Simon. Is it? All right, because you're getting excited over the top 10, Cruise, bro. Uh, the Spanish spelling, not Tom Cruise spelling. It was not that little girl that just passed <laughs> oh. by. Hang on. Bianca Cruz. Is that her? There's but a lot softball. of Bianca. It's okay. her. And the, it's right. had that white top there. Yep. Like six in to the, from the left. This one. This one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's hot. There's a. Lo- there's still a lot. I mean, that does- Oh, my. That doesn't even help. No, that doesn't look like her. That's her. Yeah, it's probably her. Okay. All right, number three. Oh, this one, yeah. Track and field. <laughs> Another track and field? Yeah, wait, yeah. Go this ahead. one, uh, Allison Stoke. S-T-O-K-K-E. Stoker. Yeah. Stoker. 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 You could Stoker. Okay. Yeah. See if you can get one I of mean, the uh, back end view. We, ha- we have to have some sort of like standard mm. because you can't just take every skinny, like fit girl and say she's hot. Yeah, sorry, they're pretty. Sorry, you're, you're you kind of can. Williams, if they're it? athletic, or if they're an athlete, oh, but, they're going to be thin and fit. Yeah, exactly. yeah, but just being thin doesn't make you hot. No, but again, we're talking. I mean, about Joe, athletes, you're not. So you're not be. married. Then they would her. make our top yeah. ten butterface. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can make that list. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Next number. One. Number two is skiing. Mm. Skiing. <laughs> I only know. Oh, she is she Lindsay, the, Lindsay, Lindsay Vaughn? Lindsay Vaughn. Yes. No, no, no. She's a, yeah, old yeah. school. Tiger. Tiger Woods. Two, mm-hmm. two ends. Tigers dated she, all ten of these. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> I mean, it's the same photo, but is that her? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. yep. She, yeah, I, I think she looks like Chelsea Handler. She's yeah. yeah. I don't. I don't think she's worthy of number two. I really. Ooh. Okay. Burp. Oh my. Number one is wrestling. Okay. Arguably the most famous female wrestler. Miss China. Van. <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> Miss Vic Van- McMahon. <clears throat> no. Stephanie McMahon? You don't have a guess, Jay? No. I, don't, I can't I, believe you know, the Bellas didn't make number one. I don't, it's the wrestling. I don't really watch. Is she still wrestling? wrestling. What? What, I, what I will uh, tell you. I don't know. Steve. Back in the day, I used to watch Glow. Glow. Yeah. Oh, was that glow. the ro- Gorgeous oh, no. ladies of wrestling. Oh, yeah, yeah. Back in the day. But it was, like the, it was like the 80s look, right? They had like the... Yeah, they were great. Stacy Keebler. She better not look like an elf. There. She does. No. Stacy Keebler. And so she made the yep. two spot on this? She's number, she's one, number one spot. One. Oh, she's top. Oh, oh I didn't know she was a wrestler. Oh, all right. She's, she's no longer one. on there. She's no longer wrestling. She was there for a short... She doesn't even look like a wrestler. She just snap her in half. No. I mean, yeah, this is yeah, this is when they only had like a handful of female wrestlers then because she hasn't been on for a long time. She looks like a yeah. mix between Kelly Whipper and Paris Hilton. Yeah, I mean it's not a terrible list, but it definitely needs work. <laughs> Seems like a good mix. <laughs> Look mm. at that first picture. Can we blend our own woman together? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I didn't know any of those women. Nope. No. Serena Williams. I did know never. Serena Williams. We got Lindsay Vaughn. Lindsay Vaughn. Yeah. Which, by athlete, Serena Williams is probably the best athlete on the list. She's oh, certainly. You know, she's yeah. definitely like she might be the best female athlete of all of any yeah. sport all time. Yeah, 
I just can't wait in her can't retirement. Can't really judge one sport against the other, but in her I retirement, mean, I hope she plays pickleball in Sun City <laughs> Center. She's just gonna rip people. Who wins? Awesome. John McEnroe <laughs> or Selena Williams? Johnny Mac. Serena, Serena, not Selena. Serena, 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 the arenas, whatever. Serena oh, Williams. Does. Yeah, think so. Yeah. I and, think so. In their John, prime. John, oh, in their prime. Yeah. She's got way more. <laughs> she's got way more power than he does. That's probably yeah. She's got a harder serve, but it'll be it'll be close. Hmm. Are comments working? Yeah, I mean, I see two. Okay. Now the now the like now the number fifty female player versus the number fifty male player. No chance. She's getting smoked. Okay. But Serena Williams against John Macro. I don't know. She probably got a shot. Okay. Not. I'm not. You know. I've never been a fan of John Macro. He's always a dick. He was a dick to me, and, and I met him in uh, an Outback Steakhouse one night. <laughs> 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 did you like spit on his salad or something? <laughs> he walked up and said, do you want a Foster's, Mr. McEnroe? <laughs> no. Uh, so growing up, my uh, my best friend, Josh, who ironically is the one that I have a lot of, you know, the guy that was very good at going through some women while we were roommates. Um, so He outdid Little Spinner. Oh, yeah, for sure. And um, He was Big Spinner. <laughs> he was the Red Spinner. Um <laughs> Women like the red hair. I don't know. Um, so, anyways, his mom was a huge tennis fan, huge McEnroe fan, diehard, you name it. So, when I was living in Manatee County, I was working. I ran into McEnroe while I was at Carabas or um, Outback. And, you know, I was sitting literally at the booth right next to him, you know, mm-hmm. and I'd probably been there for 45 minutes. He was there. And I'm texting her. I'm like, I'm sitting right next to John McEnroe. You know, this is old school, like when you had to press the, the three T9. button yeah. three times yeah, to get, right. you know. So we're going through this tech session. She's like, you've got to get me an autograph. You have to get, please, whatever you can do, get me an autograph. I'm like, okay. Um, I got him to sign my penis. <laughs> <laughs> He's really mad at me right now because no. we forced him to. And I don't, <laughs> I don't remember exactly what he said, but I just tried to politely ask him for an autograph and he basically told me to fuck off and yeah, yeah. well I mean, he's got the reputation of being a uh, jerk a but i mean he's that's, a dick. No. that's yeah. part of the image I was, I, I was wearing a certain uniform at the time so it was like okay well fuck uh, you too buddy i'll be waiting for you who was he with i don't even remember some lady was she hot he was, I, try, he was trying to lay it down i don't know yeah. i have no idea I was just looking at him, and yeah, he definitely was. You know. He's a dick. Well, you he know what? Fuck John McEnroe. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, you... <laughs> Serena Williams would kick his ass. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, so we had some um, <coughs> eclipse news. Did everybody go and see the nope. eclipse? The eclipse news. I looked outside. Nope. I didn't see nothing. As in there was the eclipse? Is that the news? I don't we know. had the eclipse. Um, it was minute. And Riverview, I don't know if it was different where know, you saw, were at. I saw a big eclipse on what you guys sent me. Uh, my wife kept bringing dish strainers outside and looking through. And there Are were you serious? Half, <laughs> half moon shadows on the ground. I was like, that's cool. Can you stop calling me out here for this dumb shit? <laughs> I was like, I'll watch it on TV later. There'll that's be great it. pictures. It was anything, so, uh, so I was, the best video I saw was the one I sent all you guys. Well, did you, we're going to talk about that in a minute. Um, so it, like, the, oh, we're supposed to get like 60% outage. We didn't take well, no outage. So the video, you, the video you sent, a Mexican news reporting agency actually showed that. By accident. Live on, on air. Idiots. Yeah. <laughs> Live on fucking air. Are you going to show the video or are you going to tell them? About it? Um, so, YouTube will probably <laughs> kick them off. They're going to ban it. Yeah. Well, then just, it was the sun and then all of a sudden a set of hairy ass testicles comes oh, in view God. instead of the moon. You didn't right. see it? And no. the news agency look at the, in Mexico. I can't, the group keep, chat. I can't look at, keep up. He's t-texted group it in the group chat. I know. I just can't keep up. Mm-hmm. The, uh, I was supposed to be, the conference I was supposed to go to was in Austin. Where they were having a hundred percent coverage, yeah. They, but it was cloudy; broke. no one saw it. No, they, they, someone saw it. it <laughs> That's great. It, uh, yeah, it broke. They, like the conference broke yesterday when it was going to happen, and they come to find out, like I was still getting text alerts about my flights, even after I canceled them, and uh, I would have missed it anyway because my my flight was delayed like four hours. Now, if your flight wasn't delayed, would you, would you have been in the air while the eclipse was going on? I would have been hit by the moon. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they, they said just, just in Texas alone or something, they were saying it was responsible for like 400 and something million dollars in 
oh, yeah. Oryx, Oryx body. Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, and, uh, and there was even a guy they interviewed who <laughs> had flown there to Texas, wherever he was going, and it was cloudy. So he hopped on a flight to fucking Buffalo or something. So or Maine. Oh, yeah. Actually, he went to yeah, Maine to pick it so up on the other year, end. Yeah, and uh, yeah. Spent, so pe- some people spent a lot of money to do this. I I don't think I would like or those, could. But, no, um, it's like well, those crazy people. Twenty forty-five is the next one, and the path of totality is going to go right over Tampa. So nobody died before then, and we'll be able to see it. August yeah, twenty years. It's no big deal. There you go. I've but the problem is there's been several eclipses in the past that I've, I've witnessed. So I know they're making it sound like this is a big deal, but I feel like every five to eight years, there's an eclipse of some sort. Right. It's just the past changes. Right. But I've never seen an eclipse like to where I was like, Oh my God, it's an awesome eclipse. It's like, there's always something that it's interesting. I don't know that it's necessarily like this huge deal, like they're making it, but it is interesting to just look. It's interesting. It was more though. Like if you watch the news from people, like, People no, are in tears, yes, crying, yeah, yeah, yeah. and so like, yeah, yeah. Make sure, oh make sure my God, you like, stock up on water no, and cash absurd. in advance. Like, right. Like, they were so taken back by yeah, this thing yeah. happening. Like, great. I don't yeah. know. I'm not, I, I just can't buy yeah, it. That's, no. That's, that's, that stuff's pretty Those scary. are the ones you can easily convert into whatever oh, cult you want to have. 100%. Like, you, yeah, catching if the, you saw people crying there, like, let them join your cult and yeah, right. just, mm-hmm. they'll give yeah. you money, sex and everything you ever yes. want because they just, yeah. they're, they're all, they're all crazy. waiting to catch the yeah. comment and take a ride. So yeah. <laughs> transition driver blames eclipse for road rage on I 10 in Florida. Oh, the shooter. Oh, oh wow. yeah. So a case of road rage <laughs> blamed on uh, the alleged shoot or a case of road rage blamed by the alleged shooter on the solar eclipse in Florida on the Florida panhandle, the Florida higher patrol, uh, troopers arrest a Georgia woman, as they say she was firing randomly at other drivers on the interstate uh, in she? Holmes County Monday. Bang. Yep. <laughs> they say 22-year-old Taylor Chris Celestine um, drove the, her purple Dodge Challenger onto the interstate at mile marker 112 and started heading west, firing several shots at two cars over a five-mile stretch. One driver was struck by glass fragments and got grazed in the arm. He was able to steer onto the shoulder. Another hospitalized after getting shot in the neck. Oh. Uh, Trooper stopped the car at mile marker 96 and recovered an AR-15 and a 9mm handgun. Jeez. So here's the thing. She was planning this shit. Right. Yeah, yeah. Like, you Which know, one was she shooting, though? Uh, probably the nine. Well, but, we've, know, we've known about the eclipse for a while. Right. So, so she was yeah. probably like, this is the day I'm going to fucking go crazy, but. Or she Isn't does, she or she does this all the time in other yeah. places, and this is the yeah. first time she's gotten. Didn't caught. she say God told her to do it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So says, why is she blaming the eclipse if God told her to do it? He says told her, uh, he told her through the that's, eclipse. Yeah. How it says Celestine reportedly checked out of a hotel after telling the staff she was going on a shooting spree directed by God in re, in relation to the eclipse. And but, the hotel but it was staff in, didn't do anything, right? It was in Florida, though, right? Yeah. yeah. Up, okay. up north. Up I, north. I don't know. I think we should stop letting people from Georgia come here. <laughs> right. Or anywhere else. Damn it. Florida's immigrants. closed. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Especially since I will say, I've probably brought this up before, but during one of the past hurricanes, oh. like they shut down every exit in Georgia and wouldn't let the Florida people there. And that did not get enough press. Like, they were saving all their fuel and everything for their own Georgians and stuff. But you know what? Fuck you. Don't try coming down here when you have a problem. They they literally shut. They had state troopers blocking every exit off of 95. Wow. So, you, if, so we, there was no way to get off and, like, get gas. Exactly. People were just stuck everywhere. So really? fuck you, Georgia. All right. So we're going to boot or bang it. Garby, boot or bang. Oh, the psycho shooter. Mm-hmm. That's a boot. Booting. Firm boot. 22-year-old. Uh, that's a bang. Yeah, what are you uh, talking about? That's a bang all day. Yeah, all right. That's a whole different kind of crazy. Yeah. I don't yeah. think it's, I saw what she looked like, so I'll go with Joe and say day. bang. You're banging. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Laura? Boot. Booting. Yeah, okay. Feels feels very bootish. <laughs> Should have booted her. All right. Here we go. Try to boot to the face. Let's go. Oh, Garby wins. She's Which a dude. One? No, she's I mean, that other picture. Go, go to the third, lo- third uh, row down. Third row down, right. yeah. There you she go. Looks to the right side. With a nice <laughs> family <laughs> orange blouse. There you yeah, go. Let's, let's track it. Yeah, there she is. She's a risk specialist. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
So why didn't the article say Tracy Chapman shoots up people in North <laughs> in North Florida? Yeah, could have. Because you had a fast car. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she looks a little she looks a little crazy, but maybe that's just because it's a mug shot. <laughs> okay. So one nothing. There you go. <laughs> Lisa said yeah. boot too. Lisa uh, booted. All right. So since we're on the booter bang craze, let's go ahead and booter bang. Yeah, we we didn't get our theme song. Well, that's true. Let's let's fire oh, up the, we've got the a, theme we have song. A booter we've bang got a booter, theme yeah, song. We do. How do you guys not know that? What? Lisa yeah. wanted to know if she had a beard. No. Nope. I said she looks like a dude. All right. Here we go. I missed the last staff meeting. <laughs> it's time for booter bang. <laughs> <laughs> oh. put, put him on camera for this because uh, he's never. Uh, this is his first time experiencing this. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh my god. <laughs> That's Boot. awesome. Bang. <laughs> Boo. Boot or bang. Boo. Oh my god. Bang. <laughs> Boo. Boot or bang. <laughs> oh, there's really? more, don't worry. That's really? Amazing. You guys gotta shut up. Why is that? Boot or bang garbage. <laughs> Firm boot. Are we all <laughs> We're banging the car too. Jay said bang. Bang. Brad and Keller and Lisa have all said boot. She was deciding to have pizza for breakfast. Here we go, because I'm the one that is going to bang on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Booter bang. <laughs> Booter bang. <laughs> Booter bang. Boot, boot. It continues <laughs> on if we want to deal with it, but that's the basics of how it. Far, how long does Booter it go? Bang. Probably on crack. Bang. Booter bang. <laughs> Booter bang. Everyone booted. Joe. Joe. Joe bang. It's such a long song. It's longer than the, the intro. <laughs> that's all. I'm surprised it hasn't gotten like platinum by Seriously? now. Yeah. That's amazing. I like the ending though. It's, listen to the ending. Everyone booted. Joe. This is 12 Joe minutes, Joe minutes later. Joe bang. It's pizza for breakfast for me, you know? I'm going to bet $12 that Jason says boot. <laughs> <laughs> all right that's all so it is time for need, booter bang need to get a need to get a trademark on the booter bang i know we'll see how it goes <laughs> all right first booter bang of the evening <clears throat> a woman was arrested after her two children were found walking down the middle of a busy road in sebring on saturday morning the two-year-old and four-year-old boys were spotted walking down the middle of Memorial Drive near Sebring Parkway around 10.15 a.m., according to the Highlands County Sheriff's Office. When law enforcement found out where they lived, they went to their home on Park View Road, which was a block from where the kids were walking. Deputies said Amanda Marie Thomas, 30, was on the floor, unconscious, when she woke up, she didn't know where her children were and expressed no concern when told <coughs> where they had been found. Thomas was arrested by deputies on charges of child neglect. This wasn't the first time one of the children had left the house unnoticed by their mother, and the father was at work when the incident occurred. Eight hours after the boys wandered off, Thomas's blood alcohol level, level was measured at a .152. So that's basically it. She was booked in the jail. Yada yada. Garby. Bang. Garby is banging. Mm -hmm. She's 30 years old. Amanda Marie Thomas. J. Fred. Bang. Banging. <laughs> okay. Joseph. Coughing Joe. Bang. Joe says bang. Bang. Okay. Lusty Laura. Um, Since she was drinking, she probably doesn't have like meth face. I was thinking it was probably drugs. So I'll say bang. You're going to bang, okay? Yeah. Any comments from the peanut gallery? At uh, least said boot. Lisa said boot. Smart, Lisa. I think we're all wrong. <laughs> oh, no. I don't no. think we've ever all been right together. That's true. <laughs> That's yeah. a good point. Okay, let's show camera eight. Oh. Mm. That's uh, exciting. Okay. It's disappointing. Uh, yeah. Do we have any other pictures of her? No. Nope. Maybe with a little makeup. Right, she made clean up yeah. nice. Yeah. Maybe when her hair is done. No. I mean, I can do a, an extended search. Of, not. If you could have an artist here that actually does a better rendition. <laughs> Not some of those makeup people on YouTube, they do like crazy like transformations. Yeah, all they're going to have mm -hmm. is their mugshot. They're not going to have mm -hmm. any other photos. Until yeah, so yeah, you wake up it. the next morning. There's a lot of women called Amanda Marie Thomas, though. Shocking. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mm. All right. I think, uh, I mean, I am i don't know. I mean, we've seen worse. We've seen better, you know. just Yeah, we've seen worse, but... <clears throat> Those eyebrows are weird. Yeah. 
<laughs> and those are real, I think. So it's kind of strange. All right. Um, you know she likes to party and she puts out. So it's true. Um, I want one for Lisa. Bang. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lisa. This one's for you. Drunk Florida man beat up after making fun of Disney World guest with Down syndrome. Oh. Please tell me the Down syndrome kid beat him up. A Florida man was arrested after sparking a skirmish with four guests at a Walt Disney World Resort bar that started after he made fun of a guest with Down syndrome. Brent George was arrested and charged with four counts of battery after the incident that unfolded at Bella View Lounge and Bar inside Disney's Board Rock Boardwalk Inn, January 25th. Um, the 61-year-old was intoxicated at the bar. Why did you say the age? Now it's an automatic boot. What? Mm. I, I, that's 11 years from me. What are you talking about? Yeah, automatic <laughs> boot. 61 <laughs> is the new 40. Sure. All right. The 61-year-old <laughs> was intoxicated at the bar after downing three shots of bourbon and a beer. One bourbon. Older gentlemen are shot. distinguished. That sounds like one a beer. three bourbon. Right. Three, no, no, three um, and allegedly made his way up to a table of four guests and started to make fun of a woman with Down syndrome, according to the affidavit. Um, let's see. Her mother confronted George and asked him if he was making fun of her daughter, and that's when George stood up and allegedly shoved her twice. He slapped another guest at the table and in the face as uh, she tried to intervene, deputies say. So that's basically it. Um Sounds like they had a magical time. Yep. George is a little drunky at Disney. Um, Garby, are you going to boot or bang? Oh, so. Boot. He can't boot himself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jay Fred. I'm going to bang. Mm -hmm. This guy's yeah, got yeah. promise. Okay. Yeah. A little ambitious. Down syndrome children are picked on enough. Nope. <laughs> All yeah. right. Coughing Joe. Uh, boot. You're booting. Even okay. though apparently older gentlemen are distinguished, but. Okay. This guy, I Lisa saw his says, photo. Bang, then boot after he buys dinner. Sounds charming. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good plan. All right, Lusty Laura. Boot. Booting. Okay. I saw the photo of the guy. He kind of looks like Al Bundy to me. He there does, actually. I mean, it's a good looking 61 year old. Yeah. I He's mean, ready to party. Lusty he, to me he looks a little more like John Kreese, uh Karate Kid. Mm, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, what's the one from it, Home Improvement that just got arrested? Too? I'm gonna bet this guy's in better uh, shape than John. Oh, John, oh yeah, um, Zach Ty Bryan. Zach Ty Bryan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he kind of looks like him, like in 30 well, years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that might be him. <laughs> okay, so that's Lisa's bitter bang. He looks like a happy-go-lucky guy. Yeah, he, I'm sure he's a he you just know, fine. You know, he was drunk yeah. and being a douchebag. So was she right or wrong? But yeah, he shouldn't have fucked with yeah. them. Everybody has their own opinion, Joe. Oh well, she. What What's did she hers, say? Though? Yeah, does she agree with her what she decided? Uh, he Lisa. looks like the guy in the insurance commercials. Oh, yeah. Um, is it Allstate? The caveman? No, no, no. no. The guy that's like, <laughs> um, no, you, you um, could end up with it's, me it's or whatever. The guy it? who's uh, like the car accident guy. Yeah. Oh, him? Dean, yeah. Uh, Dean Winters? Dean, yeah, Dean Winters. Sure. No. Mayhem. Mayhem, yeah. Mayhem. Uh, yeah. I, I, don't think, I don't see that. No. I don't see that. Not at all. Well, I, think with, like, I see the, an older Zachary Ty Bryan. But, yeah. I think yeah. because he's beat up, so he looks like the oh, the yeah. actor when he's in the commercials because he's all beat up. I mean, no, this I, guy didn't look that beat up actually. No. He, he should have gotten beat up by right. the whole family. Should have been actually the Down syndrome chick should have beat the shit out of him too. Mm -hmm. They should have just held him down, well, let her just keep smashing him her, in the face. I guess her her father did. Oh, good. good. Or, or the husband or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. On the subject of aging, well, my server at trivia last night told me I remind her of her father. <laughs> so that's, wow it's always a plus it's always fun to get to that uh jay fred can you I, hand I me think another you dirty that she said bastard. she wants to call you daddy yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. all right we have another uh another one for lisa yeah. and, you want to finish this one first i mean you probably got your wet paws all over it so you've coughing. been coughing into it well that's that's long covid we're not worried about that i'm not going to catch his long covid all right we'll we'll wait all right so ex-teacher at Fort Lauderdale Catholic School accused of inappropriate relationship with student. He's teaching Catholic girls. What's he like? Catholic school no, girls. No, Catholic. It's Catholic boys. Oh, it's boys. Mm. All right. Andy Gator. That's one like two months <laughs> That's ago. That's actually a good beer. Yeah. Um, you don't want that other than the other one. There's another one in there, too. I'm, I'm going to try this one. Okay, that's fine. You can do what you want. 
But was there I supposed to try something else? Yeah, I told you about the, the Steve oh. Austin beer. Oh, yeah, let's do that one first. Yeah, it should be in the door. Well, he moved some things around. So. He did. The big center can. What a, a bunch of fucking rats they are, aren't they? Yeah, and the, the, the <laughs> big center can. Stuff it's, got a, it's a big tall can. The big center can. Actually, there's a lot of good beers in there, man. Yeah. That Price's Borchata is good, too. I didn't know we had one in there. What is it, it called? It looks like a PBR. Borchata. Whatever. El Segundo Brewing Company. All right. Authorities arrested a El, former El teacher. Meanwhile, it's supposed to be like an American El, beer. El Segundo PBR. Here we go. Authorities arrested a former teacher at St. Thomas. Yeah. Well, I'm it's, trying not it's to a bitter bang man. So. <laughs> um, a teacher at uh, Thomas Aquinas High School Thursday on three felony charges after he was accused of having inappropriate relationships with a student. Andrew Farrelly. 43 of Sunrise is facing three counts of soliciting or engaging in a romantic relationship as an authoritative figure. He caught math. He taught mathematics at a Catholic school located at 2801 Southwest 12th street in Fort Lauderdale. According to an arrest affidavit, the victim who was 17 years old at the time told detectives she met. Oh, it's a, she, you were right. Yeah. Garby. He's hot. Then she met fairly <laughs> and junior in a, uh, in her junior year of high school, and stated, I had a huge crush on him. He's a good-looking guy, police said. Well, did, did, why do you say police that? Police said? <laughs> just, wow. bang, 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 bang. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to boot this one. <laughs> <laughs> the victim advised that when the COVID-19 pandemic began, she no longer had contact with Farley since school was out. However, during her senior year of high school, the victim stated that she continued to speak with him in person when school was back in session. The complaint states that even though she was not fairly student, he spent an excessive amount of time with her, including before and after school, on the weekends um, and non-working hours. The victim described their relationship to detectives as a casual friendship, stating she and Furley would talk about life, music, and movies, indicating they had a lot in common. We connected. We bonded. It was so romantic. At one point, it Farley doesn't sound like a crime is committed here. Well, we're she trying to figure it out. At one point, Farley allowed the student to stay at his home. Wow. It was a sleepover. Is he, is he married? <laughs> um, probably not. Maybe he was just tutoring. Sixty-eight plus one equals what? Where's my um? <laughs> <laughs> All right. At one point, Farley allowed the student to stay at his home roughly until midnight without contacting her parents. And with her phone off, the complaint states, in an incident that occurred on campus sometime between March and May of 2021, the victim recalled wearing a jacket to school and being inside Farley's classroom when he unzipped her jacket and touched her boobies <laughs> <laughs> in a lewd and lascivious manner, according to the report. But so is, is she complaining or are they just like... That's what I don't get. Like, this girl's so into him. Who filed exactly. charges? The, de the parents, obviously. But so no, he's but 17 I mean, years old. Like She's going to be 18 by the time this goes to, you know, trial. What I want to know is how I can touch boobs. It's not lewd and lascivious. <laughs> Just ask Laura. Just be like, because mm. that's <coughs> even if, that's you, if you look at my boobs, I feel like you're being <laughs> lewd and lascivious. <laughs> He's within touching reach right now. Be careful. <laughs> mm. Either way, it's like it sounds everybody like, you know, here knows we're not allowed to have a casual relationship with a 17 year old. Yeah. That's <laughs> That's pretty the, basic. Doesn't take a, a teacher no. to figure that one out. I was, I, I don't want to go too far off topic, but I was watching a YouTube video a couple of months ago. Off topic. And this, <laughs> this guy was, this guy was like, he was depressed and he was like, he was tell, talking to his wife and he's like, you know, honey. I need a 17 year old. It's like, <laughs> you know, it's been, it's been 15 years since, or it's been 20 years since we met. And he's like, you know, and I remember your dad coming to me <clears throat> and saying like, Either, you know, you marry my daughter or you're going to jail. And he's like, 20 years, I would have been free right now. Oh. <laughs> that was the longest joke, John. That, that was so long. That was the worst. <laughs> it wasn't really that long. So bad. Bad. <laughs> Pretty off topic. It was right. longer than the 20 years that he was staying in the marriage. <laughs> but he's like, I would have been free right now. All right. The victim stated she would not wear a uniform shirt to school and simply wear her jacket with a brawl underneath, oh. stating it was too hot for that report states police said Furley would then unzip her jacket and play with them placing his hand directly bop, over bop, her bop, breast bop, 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 on top bop, bop, of her bop, 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 bop. bra in a fondling manner 
fondling. No fondling. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me describe this on video to you guys. <laughs> um, uh, so I that's think we it. need visual representations. Yeah. I mean, this is a very long story, but you get the point. Yeah. Teacher, student, seventeen years old. Um, I don't know how it ended. Apparently, I'm going to guess <laughs> with a baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> She's mm. the pregnant one at graduation. Yeah. And the victim. What if, what if he had waited the until year. the moment she turned eighteen exactly. and was still a senior? Exactly. Like, does it yeah. make it any better? Well, that's you know? when like, they. The, I yes, think you still because get, like I think it's no, still a crime that you're a teacher and it's a student even if they're eighteen. Yeah, because that's why uh, he was charged with. Yeah, they have to be out of the class. Right. It's, it's like out of school. Out of school. Yeah. Yeah, it's an authoritative figure. The that's day the after point. graduation is legal. No, well, well, yeah, but I mean, yeah. unless she's getting homeschooled and tutored and, you know, I, th I think, so, I don't know, we want to get into that. But so, if you, so if you want to bang an employee, you're like, okay, I'm getting you transferred. So you well, better, not an employee. Better bang me has afterwards. to be a teacher, law enforcement officer, doctor, somebody that has position of authority. authority. Well, that's a position what a, that's of authority. What a manager is, you know, like I am to Laura, you know, we she has a lot of charges <laughs> against me right now. Yeah. All right, so let's show this photo. Wait, Lisa, oh. boot or bang? She said bang. Lisa's banging. No dinner required. Garby. <laughs> I think this guy's probably going to be a gang. A bang for the... A gang bang. Gang bang. <laughs> bang, 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 bang for the... I, I'm, I'm booting. You're booting. Yeah. Really? We'll, we'll do booting. a bang. Okay. We'll take a bang on that one. Joe is but banging. Uh, I, I kind of want to know if she's the only one. Because yeah. if, if she found out that there were others, then she would have been like, oh, That's I what wasn't special. Tell. And then she's going to go and tell everybody. True. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When she thought she was special, she she was right. keeping it to herself. How, okay. How is your beer after the other one? Much better. Really? Not like it's spoiled your taste buds. Like, oh, it's ruined mine. Really? It's ruined oh, yeah. your palate for the night. Yeah. Wow. Well, at least with it's, the it's, yeah. the caramel is. Go is, grab is another tasty, Guinness. But it's too intense. That the Guinness was the problem. I switched really? off of it, and it's the black Guinness just as bad. Really? Oh, wow. it's terrible. Okay. All right. There's some uh, white claws in there if you want to try this. Let's, <laughs> let's see the results. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. So, he yeah. remind he reminds me of what's the guy that was just in Roadhouse, Jake Jake Gyllenhaal. Gyllenhaal. No, yeah. mm. I don't feel bad about booting him. I don't. Yeah, care. I see, yeah, yeah. He kind of not looks, as good looking as I thought he was going to be. No, you, have, you have to no. put yourself into a seventeen year old. I think they, you know, I try all the time. Jake. <laughs> <laughs> they give guys like this extra credit because of his eyes. It's yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Eyes, the eyes, yeah. the blue eyes. Yeah, you know. I mean, he's. He's, I mean, for, well, you also got to factor in the fact he's a teacher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, he teaches math. Yeah. Any, any teacher that's slight. <laughs> Joe, yeah. the math teacher. Any teacher is slightly above average. <laughs> Joe, hey, if, if anybody needs a math more. tutor, Joe, Pajama Joe is available. Yep. He would like to make some extra money tutoring 18 year olds. Girls. Only on what? Tuesday nights from yeah. six yeah. to I can six, teach six you how to plot, to on, plot her solutions. On the set. couch. On the casting yeah. couch, please. <laughs> she can curve my parabola. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst <laughs> math joke really ever. Bad. Really bad. I got a lot of math jokes, believe me. Oh my God. I spent four can, years. Can you do the top ten math jokes next week, Joe? Parabolas are already. Know. I don't. I don't think any. Of I don't them, think you're going to guess them, but I can just list ten. If yeah, you we, to. yeah, we just don't. I don't think it's possible for you to have a better math joke tonight. Oh, I got after Garby sixty-eight plus one. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> All right, uh, TikToker <laughs> slutted a uh, slut shame for sleeping with twenty-two guys on a ten-day vacation to get over her ex. Bang. <laughs> yes. Bang. Like, Say no uh, more. Yeah. Bang. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's a, Laura, how many men would you sleep bang. with to get over me? In one day or a weekend? Yeah. Say I wouldn't three. I would sleep with anyone Let's to get go over with you. Say she's, three. Over, she's over you already. <laughs> There's three that'll help you. I just you. have to get another dog. <laughs> <laughs> she bangs her dog. She just needs another plant. We can do that as a parting gift. Shit. <laughs> she, need, she needs another another plant. It'll be like, uh, wh who's the baseball player that would give puppies out? As a parting Puppies. gift? He would give baskets out. You're talking what about A-Rod. A-Rod, oh, no, yeah. Um, Derek Jeter. Jeter. Derek Jeter. He gave yeah. baskets. Baskets? I, some of the baskets might have puppies. I'm sure they did. <laughs> I'm sure they did. <laughs> and you get a basket with puppies. <laughs> and you get a basket with puppies. <laughs> and you get a turtle. <laughs> that guy, that guy is, he's, I hate the Yankees, but he's my hero. Yeah, he's he's got it going on. He's, that's, uh. Well, yeah. that would explain why you didn't put any of the all-star <laughs> team together on our fantasy team as no Yankees players. Sure, yeah, and they're zero. nine and two. All right, an, Aust an Australian woman who bedded, I love that term, bedded, bedded 22 men 
<laughs> during a recent 10 day vacation wow. has shared her horror after being horrifically slut shamed online. Well, yeah, that's two a day. Talia Madison a is a sex that's worker good. from Newcastle. A sex, sex worker? It's <laughs> <laughs> nothing from her. Oh my God. <laughs> her vacation was sex. Who has amassed... Her vacation a, was work. Yeah. Who has amassed a following detailing her life as an adult content creator. After experiencing a recent breakup, Madison jetted off to Europe, later revealing in a video that she slept with multiple men to get over her ex. Her candid admission quickly went viral after it was shared by a self-titled woke influencer who dishes controversial stating advice to men about how to treat women. Burr. Now, if he was so woke, what was he doing watching her stream? Anyway? Yeah. Well, yeah. Like following her. This, this he was one, praying for her, okay? Yeah. This one feels like a trap. I'm going to boot. You're booting. Okay. Bang, it, bang, feels, bang. it feels like a trap. She's an, bang. She's an OnlyFans creator. Oh, bang. Every, bang. Everything about logic says it should be a bang, but it feels like a trap. Mm-hmm. Feels like okay. a trap. Well, I'm <laughs> falling for it. <laughs> what ensued was a cruel and disturbing avalanche of hate towards the 25 year old from uh, uh, from men who branded her in evidence that we're dealing with the worst generation of women in history madison told news.com she's used to being criticized due to the nature of her work but she said this was an onslaught felt like an attack on her for being a woman who is open about her sexuality news.com yeah that's what it says <laughs> are, we, are we all open that's about a, our sexualities Eh, I mean, I don't think I mean, everybody is. I think for the most part. I mean, here. You, we, we what, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I think I once we so. get to a certain Anything age. Anything with a hole like, in a pulse, you just, you know. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> little grease. I little, mean, the pulse is optional sometimes. I was uh, going to say, yeah. Joe, really, is the pulse <laughs> optional? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Weirdo. But that's basically it. So, Garby, you said you feel like you're being tricked. I feel like it's a trap, yeah. It's just, it's, okay. It seems too obvious of a bang. Okay. So, it's, it's a, so I'm going boot. All right. J. Fred. Bang. bang You're banging. Bang, bang, okay. Bang. I'm falling into the trap. <laughs> Laura. <laughs> I'm going to say bang. Yes, Laura's banging. Laura bangs uh, out. No. I sent the article. Oh. You did? Yeah. Okay. Uh. I'm muting you until you yeah. talk. No, Lisa's no, it's fine. Boot. I'm okay. Lisa is booting. Okay. Smart. If Joe sent it, it's because it probably is <laughs> twisted and gross. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Here we go. Oh, fuck. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you know what? All the other ones failed, and uh, yeah. this I, I get this all, makes up for it. Yep, yeah. all the wins right here. Yeah, I failed that one. Uh, I'm moving. I'm, I'm going to Paris. Yeah, to now, I found right the article now. on there, this. There one. was no. Now, do you think there's some more content? Let's see what we got here. Hang on. Let's, I think it's a filter because her eyeballs look rather large. Let's see what this is going to say. This is yeah, because we're looking at the big eyelashes. Where, hold on. Oh, I failed miserably. Hang, Hang on. This is the yeah, one. Yeah, nice it. pigtails. 22 people, so she didn't even say guys. Why can't uh, we hear She had her? a goal of 20. Her goal. Like, she had 22 goal. in the morning. Oh, <laughs> Australian. Oh, but the article says 22 men, but she said people, so it could have been women, too. It's easy to do because the men in Paris are whores. So. I mean, come on. Like, yeah. Right, Ty Tyler Madison. Damn. Why can't we hear her, damn it? Because you have it on mute, dingus. Why Where? You, that li that Why? little right there. thing with the X. Does, does the show Why? follow her? Why? You should follow her because... Why do we? Why do we need to hear her? Why not? Because yeah. she has an Australian accent. It makes her hotter. Oh, that's true. My boyfriend and I've been traveling for ten days, and I've slept with twenty-two people in that ten days. She's very proud. My goal was twenty, and I just hit twenty-two this morning. So it wasn't just this like drunk morning. at night. So she's she like did, doing it during the morning. She did two and dudes that morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Same time. She's just glug 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 glug. Probably together. Yeah. One, one, one on each end. It's called an Eiffel Tower. She is in Paris. Finger cup, finger cups. It's not gay if it's a three way. You should definitely. <laughs> it's not gay. If it's True a statement. Three way. Yeah. All right. Uh, Whoo! All we right. Need, so we need to like her page. And yeah, we do. Become follow followers her. and I don't... and invite her to the show <laughs> and say, hey, we got thirty guys here. Exactly. <laughs> you count us two. <laughs> All right. Um. Here we go. What last one for the evening? <clears throat> Texas authorities. That should have. That should have been the last one. Right. Oh uh, well. You know. Yeah. I'm hitting on a high note. Trust me, Greg. I'm okay. The bang. I'm booting. <laughs> I'm booting. <laughs> I'm booting. Yeah. I'm right. booting this everything. Is a, well, this, this one is definitely a trap. Here's boot. here's the <laughs> kicker. This is a mother daughter team. Oh, oh man. Oh. We, got, we got a two for one. <clears throat> nah. Get a two for one. 
Too big girl. Texas. Too, too, <laughs> too big heifers for sure. <laughs> Texas <laughs> authorities arrest mother, daughter for allegedly running illegal butt injection operation. Boot. <laughs> Boot. Um Texas law enforcement officials arrested a mother-daughter duo who allegedly operated an illegal butt injection operation, offering it to complete the medical procedure for about six thousand dollars. How much does it normally cost? Uh, probably probably guess ten more. Yeah. Jesus Christ. The insurance probably won't cover it because it's elective and it's cosmetic. Yeah. Oh, insurance definitely. Medical. Well, typically they right. take the fat around like you know your thighs, your your stomach, and they inject it into your butt. But yeah. these people are probably putting like. No flat tire stuff in your butt, so if, you're gonna die. If they take fat out of me, I don't want it back in. <laughs> but well, put it on someone else. <laughs> put it in her butt cheeks. <laughs> All right, Texas law enforcement I mean, we could officials stick something in her butt. Arrested a mother-daughter duo who allegedly operated a legal butt injection operation. The Houston Police Department conducted an undercover sting last week, uh, which led to the arrest of 56-year-old Consuelo Del Bo and her daughter, 18 18-year-old. Isabella Delbo, oh. who were both charged with unlawfully practicing medicine bang without both. a license. We're going to boot and bang. I'm going to boot and bang. Yeah, boot and bang. I'm bangity banging. Okay. Boot, boot. We're going to boot the mom. I'm going to bang the daughter. The mother sure. was also charged with knowingly delivering a controlled substance. Lisa's already <laughs> saying boot to the booty injections. Okay. Um, according to court records obtained by Fox 26, the mother and daughter were at a short... Um, Short-term rental in Eastern Meadowlark Way, where they offered butt injections for $6,000. Um, the station reported that the duo was uh, met by an undercover officer. Uh, the two women planned to inject a brown liquid, which was unlabeled, into the butt of oh, and patis- posterior <laughs> no. of a customer who ended up being an <laughs> undercover officer during the sting court records show. The documents also note that the mother gave the undercover officer Xanax to relax her before the injection. Now, here's my take on it. Uh-huh. Um, if you want to be a dumbass and go get a $6,000 butt injection from some weirdos that you met online. In their basement. That's you. Yeah, like, go In their basement, too. Like, they're doing this undercover sting. I mean, focus on, like, child porn, predators, and shit like that. I hate when I see, like, People just trying to make a living. Yeah, yeah it's just like I mean, <laughs> isn't focusing on it's child porn? It's medical practicing. Yeah. That's why like, it's, prob- not be, it's not they, because people want to go get elective surgery for cheaper. It's because they can kill people very easily. Okay, but that's your choice. Well, but they probably you're had a fucking a an adult. There was probably people who had problems yeah, from this, yeah. and that's okay. why and that's they were they looking fucked. into it. But right. they're adults. Yeah. They made a decision to do that. <laughs> Some people aren't smart. Is the problem. This, sh- this show to- is proof of that. Right. <laughs> True story. So you feel like drug dealers shouldn't be held responsible? Uh, legalize all drugs. Oh, God. It's all about Oregon, personal Oregon choice. tried that, and they already... Yeah, you know, moved to Oregon, back. yeah. And they're already going... They're already turning back on that. Did they well, really? They're working on it. Yeah, I, don't, wow. I don't think it's happened yet, but... Okay, here we go. Mother and daughter. Ready? Wait, did we go booter bang yet? Garby? Sort of. mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to bang... Runs. I'm going to bang both. Okay. <laughs> Why not? Jay Fred? Nah, I'm I'm one and one. One yeah. and one. What? Yeah. But which ones? Boot and bang. So boot who? I'm gonna bang, boot bang the mom. not hot one, and I'm gonna <laughs> bang the hot one. Okay. I, I gotta take the, the shot. The 18, I'm hoping is hot. Yep. Okay. Joe. Same. Same. Okay. Lusty Laura. Boot them both. All right. What's Lisa saying? She Should said, boot the booty injections. Okay. That's it. Mm-hmm. What about the women? <laughs> No, she said injectors. Now, I'll when, inject to her. Yeah, I mean, when you see these women, you're going to be able to tell that they're they're right. using their drugs. Oh, uh, son of a bitch. Boot why didn't you start, start with that? <laughs> yeah. Boot boat. Oh, oh, no. You know see, her. If, oh I, if I showed up somewhere and those were the people giving the procedures, yeah, I'd, I'd be, be like, I'm out of $6,000, and I would walk away. Like, yeah. Oof. I would not trust you know they're like that. I would say to them, why did you use them on your face <laughs> exactly. instead? Right. I Why did these you were put butt, something that's supposed to go in your ass and your butt face? Injections, yeah. So this is temporary, right? Or how long does this stuff last? It depends on what they put in their body. Yeah, it's just sure. brown liquid. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's diarrhea. Yeah. It's <laughs> chili. Yeah. They, they got some chili. They look, oh, you know they're man. giving each other their own injections. You know, they're like, <laughs> daughter, do me. The they daughter look. looks pleasant. I mean, I don't, well, I don't yeah. think I made that big of an 
steak, uh, you know? They look no, like I think we messed a up. A few more beers. Yeah. No, we messed up. <laughs> no. Oh, come they, on, they Joe. Look, they look like... Mom uh, looks like cat, the cat look, woman that got all that plastic surgery done. If I, I go in to get a haircut and, and like Jay, and Jay is standing there, I'm walking out. Can we go back to the last one where... Garby booted. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why you boot that one. She's an OnlyFans creator. Are you going to boot? Uh, yeah, well, I, it felt like a trap. It felt too easy. Yeah. Okay. Because he's been soured with all those weeks yeah, where Drew just yes. brings up all the traps. Oh, yeah, all the garbage. Yeah. <laughs> These two look like blowfish. but Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know if I want to do this as a booter bang. Yes, do it. <laughs> sure. Booter bang number 12 for the night, it seems like. I know. We could do right. whole shows on Booter Bang. We could, we really We're just going to we'll do a go whole show. Your, we'll just go through your yearbook. <laughs> All right. Yes, I love it. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Julia Regine Moorhead. Yes. Lear- learn. <laughs> <laughs> Switch the camera to Garvey. Yeah. Garvey. Bang. Just- <laughs> Definitely bang. Garvey just Did threw up. Did you say Vagine? Oh, yes. Rajin Morehead. Rajin, yes. That's how it's spelled. It's Rajin. Rajin Morehead. I like that. Rajin. Rajin. <laughs> Julia Rajin Morehead. <laughs> Learn the hard way. It's never a good idea to mouth off to Florida cops, especially when you're oh being God, recorded more, on like, body camera. Uh, check uh, out this. Windows? Check out this crazy police footage released this week after the staff at the (coughs) Ben Hotel in West Palm Beach called 911 to report Moorhead was trespassing. Um, Officers responded to October 2023 incident. Moorhead was in the lobby claiming to be uh, claiming to trying to get back into upstairs to her room when she shared with her that she shared with her boyfriend. Um, (laughs) I'm going to get Moorhead in the back of my cruiser. (laughs) The, but the employees had already deemed her unwanted guest and was ordered to leave. It didn't help Moorhead any that she was drunk and acting abusive. Unfortunately, the cops got the brunt of Moorhead's ver. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Uh, Vitriol. Uh, Vitriol. Yeah, as they tried to remove her from the property. I don't even need to read it, and I'm like, you mean that word? Okay. <laughs> Let's. Um. All right, we're gonna go through the booter bang. First, and then we're gonna. I think. Do they even have the video here? I don't yeah, see there's the, a three minute video that went with it. Well, I'm trying bang. to find it, but <laughs> I sent the article. So okay, well, let's go ahead and do the booter bang, uh, Garby. I, I missed most of it after the. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go bang. Right You're banging. All right, J. Fred. Bang. Bang. Okay, Joe, you've we're already seen end it. This on a bang. <laughs> All right, Lusty Laura, you've no, seen I'll it. Do bang. You're banging. And any comments from the peanut gallery? Not yet, but we're a little behind. By the way, we're at 10 viewers. Not if you went and visited the mother-daughter team. Exactly. There'd be a lot of behind. I want to find the video, but I'm not seeing it on here. Oh, Lisa Bang. Lisa's banging. Okay. Um, They show pictures from the body cam, but I'm not seeing the actual body cam itself. Unless this is just a really long commercial that they're showing. I think it was further down at the bottom, too. The video? Yeah, you passed it. No, that's Simon. Go that's, back that, to where you were, up top. No. Mm-hmm. That's a photo. That's a photo. That's a photo. Right oh, there. here we go. Okay, here we go. All right, we are going to make this big. Well, why don't you show the picture first? Of what well, the yeah, get know. the volume. Yep. Hang on. Why are they unwanted on? guest causing a disturbance? What's up, buddy? In here. Proper great. Just Come being here, very disrespectful. There she is. Is that her? Yeah, yeah that's her. Please be her. Yeah. <laughs> this was like the video of my week. And also, like, why are you surrounding me? Like, I've done nothing wrong. And, like, you're watching, like, f***ing people. Like, so, uh-uh. Why the f*** are you doing this to me? No, you have to go outside. What the f***? Excuse me. I This is just, like, typical Florida woman. Mm-hmm. You know? If I don't give a fuck This is Moorhead? Oh, yeah. I'm sitting here. No, no more. And this goes on for a while, too. Why? This is a three minute video. You know what I'm saying? Like, even yeah. though they show three minutes, look at, look at it's a little probably bo- like an hour. A little booby jiggle there. That's, that's called <laughs> j- jiggle physics. Nice. Jiggle physics. This is my boyfriend. 
He's like, yeah, I don't know her. <laughs> I don't know that bitch. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I'm stupid. Look, look what I hid what in the, she, in the yeah, plant. Yeah, what is she doing? I know. That's what she hid her purse. We like stupid people too. No big deal. I watched this like four times. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> the ending is the best. I want to see where she's getting nuts. She was a. Fast forward. Why are we sitting no. here watching the? She was a bang until she started talking. Oh, she's already on the ground. Look. Oh. I mean, the other chick oh. touched her first. Oh. Just drag her by the foot. <laughs> the other didn't. I mean, the other chick touched her first, technically. She needs you as a juror, Jay. Can you go up there? I want a titty to pop out. Yeah. That's a foley, man. Get off. Bitch, get on your feet. Just drag her. <laughs> oh my god. She's ruining her shoes. Just walk. Yeah. We haven't seen the last of her. I bet she has a good lawsuit against oh, everybody. Yeah. She's just sitting outside a hotel. What the fuck? Being belligerent. We've all been there. That's Ebor yeah. City every night. Yeah. Yet Ebor is one of the top yeah, the places fucking to live. They look they're dragging her into the car. What was her crime though? I literally Drunk and disorderly probably. I'd sue the crap out of all of them. Yeah, this uh, you know. That escalated. Right. That's, that's mm -hmm. TMZ for you. From her just yeah. sitting on a bench? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Wow. Who knows what she did before the cops got there, though? She's, she's, she's probably just being you. belligerent and drunk and dropping F-bombs, yeah. upsetting them. If Fuck she's no. black, she'd probably be dead. Mm. <laughs> okay. She would have been body slammed to the floor. Yeah. How could you be that rough on a woman? <laughs> All right. We're going to go into some Drew news. Well, on that note, I got it. You leaving? Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Garby. It's only eight. It's it's, it's, it's his seven o'clock start only, time. Well, we you know. He's just doing what everyone else you gotta, wants you gotta, to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it comes to Drew nudes. Yeah, flip it back. To if him. you change it to Drew nudes, it'll be even worse. Yeah, oh, there, uh, you go. there you go. <laughs> um, what's in there that I can drink? Give me one of those prices horchatas. Mm. I don't know what that is. It's at the top. Oh. Yep, there you go. Those are good. If you say so. <laughs> Rice ale with cinnamon and vanilla. Bro, that's those are good. Good. and it milk. Is, it you, is good. You, it's milk in there too. Take a swiggle. Nah, it's very, you don't even. It's very. That's Christmas. good. It's very you don't Christmas even get to have that man card anymore. It's Take very it out of your pocket. <laughs> oh, all right. See you, folks. All right, man. See you. Later, garb. Let's go out the front door. Pick up some Boot. Yankees. Boot. There's a dog turd. Just kick it on the way out. Oh, I'm around. Yeah. Uh, it don't. Yeah, don't let it be like the 25th or 6th or whatever. I'm flying back to New York <laughs> for one week. Okay. All right, Joe. Are you joining joining the Florida Man competition? No, I don't think I'm hardcore enough for that. No. Nah. Bro. Okay. You can't. You can't do a little alligator wrestling. I mean, just for fun, but you know, not professionally. Just baby alligators. Yeah. Okay. Anything under four feet goes right in the trunk. We Get take the it camera around. really close to them so they look bigger. Yeah. Next to their face. We can do that. It's all about perspective. <laughs> well, that's enough out of you, Simon. All right. All right. A competition to find the ultimate Florida man is coming to the Hernando County Fair on Saturday. Boot. <laughs> the fair announced the Florida man contest will be held at 5 p.m. And uh, challenges set to continue. Uh, Florida man emerges from the crowded field to come. Uh, competi competitions. Include alligator tossing, corn cob cornhole, a mullet competition, and the Florida Man Fashion Parade. Um, Joe, your hair is kind of getting long. We can give you a little mullet right now. Yeah, I don't know about that. He does not there to stop the alligator toss. They enjoy it apparently. You know, cool. it's, you know what alligators do. Is that, I guess that's the replacement for midget tossing. Mm -hmm. they, don't, they don't let you do that anymore. All Florida men, young how and you, old, you are make, encouraged to participate. How do you make money? <laughs> mm -hmm. um, now, I didn't hear the results. Uh, can we maybe Google search the results and see who won? You're the one with the laptop. I'm doing it now. Winner. Smart guy. <laughs> um, Get off images. Hang on. No, I like images. Yeah, but you're not going to get, like, text. You're not going to get a competition, but it might show you the photo of the guy who won. <laughs> Immediately, I know that's it. 
Nope, I don't see it. See, they didn't do a follow-up. This is our news. Not, I hate when they do that. Yeah, they, they did you not. You see an article, and then you never see the follow-up. They follow did not do the follow-up. Okay. So um, what kind of sports could we add to this? I think we should do, like, changing a transmission in under an hour. Was there anything with chainsaws? Mm -mm. I mean, there definitely is, should be. This is should Florida, be. so there's got to be, like, the crackhead trying to rob a convenience store. Okay. Fishing with a stick and a string. Fishing with bamboo. Which, Joe, we need to do that. We need to get some bamboo on Facebook Marketplace. Make that happen. Yep. Um, yeah. What are some What are some thoughts we could add to this for next year? Because, I mean, alligator tossing, that's kind of like, okay, <coughs> whatever. But um, I'm thinking like... Uh, Grand Theft Auto, how to make your own meth. Um, mm-hmm. Got to run from the cops at least once. They should do a pursuit challenge. I'd win that. Like you so gotta, good. you gotta get into a pursuit through like two counties. Yeah. And crash your car. Run and, and with continue that and to get run away from the helicopter right. and everything. Yeah. yeah, that would be the ultimate Florida man challenge. Okay, y'all made that not fun. <laughs> Boot. All right, are we buying this thing? It's the hot guys and handbags bullshit. What is this thing? Yeah, so there's a media blitz going on. It says, hot guys carry handbags now. How <laughs> hot Travis Kelsey, LeBron James, and Jacob yeah. Alordi made man purses a must-have. This has been a thing. They're called Merces. It's, I don't know why they're saying they're new. It's a, Euro it's a European men's carry-all. Okay, go to camera. It's satchel. Go to eight real quick. And it Listen. sounds so, gayer the way Joe we can, says we it. We can go yeah. back to the Seinfeld. Okay, now LeBron James has a, has a purse. That is a purse. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Is that LeBron James? Um, mm -hmm. It looks that does like, Kelsey, look like LeBron is, James. No. Kelsey? Like Kelsey has a carry-all. Um, no, Dwayne they, Wade is in the middle. LeBron James Oh, okay. I was like going to say, that is not LeBron. Now, they have an well, old LeBron photo. LeBron James has the, the green one, and that's a, that's a purse. Wow. They have an old photo of Indiana Jones. Yeah, yeah now, but that's like a that does not that's like count. a messenger bag. It's like that a mail or yeah, a mail well, bag. When you're in the African forest and yeah. you're trying to find a million dollar treasure, you yeah. have to have yeah. When you're, treasure, when you're doing naked it's and afraid, a treasure you gotta, bag. So when you find the, the crystal bag. skull, you have something to put right. in it. You exactly. put it in. So. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, Listen, they did it on Seinfeld. That's awful. They did it on Friends. Joey carried a, pe a, a bag for like one episode. Don't these guys have friends that make fun of them for this That's shit? That's a purse. That's what stops this from happening. That's these all are like, take. I'm waiting for you to scroll so we can see the We're pictures. Scroll. That's it. That's all there is. Go down to the next guy. Okay. Those are That's literal it. purses. That's those a purse. Those aren't even like man bags. That's those a, are purses. That's a definite purse. Is that Tom Brady? That's definitely a purse. It looks like he's carrying he a purse. He looks like he's purse. carrying it for Rihanna. That's rapper ASAP. ASAP Rocky. Um, That's... That looks like a fanny pack purse. Yeah, that's not. That's too... a that, that's well. I mean, that's horrible, but it's still right. Very large. Um. Yeah, I don't know what that is. That what is that? Uh, it looks like a hot dog. That looks like a, a helmet with uh, with feathers. From here, it looks like a coconut. Okay. Well, and th this does not count. No. I don't care what you say. Indiana Jones does not that's count. Like, that's like a news. Billy. That's like a news like messenger bag or that's something. That's the episode of Friends. And friends. Joe was talking said. about right. with Joey and his bag. So this is the original where Friends has it with Joey. I, I mean, he's the originator, I guess. No, I think Seinfeld did it before them. Okay, well. They didn't show photos of Seinfeld. Why? I don't remember. Okay, so Travis Kelsey has like an overnight bag. Yeah. Okay, but I mean, that's called a suitcase. Right. Yeah, that's definitely. Yeah, it's not a purse. He's not it's carrying like a, that around with him to go to dinner and, right. and go to the mall and shit. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's an overnight bag. Okay. Uh, he needs okay. to keep his tampons. Mm-hmm. But if, okay, so here's the thing. Handle versus strap. Is that the difference? No. No. No, it's I don't, I I don't mind the, the handles. I just, you know. If I think it, it's the size and the look of it. Like, that's like a Jay, duffel bag shape. Yeah. Jay doesn't like the strap on. I mean, if he's carrying... If he's, if he's carrying his makeup in there, then maybe... Okay, uh, but, I mean, if you have a strap, purses typically have straps, no, or no? Sometimes. Depends. Okay. There's a difference between, like, a handbag, a 
purse, a clutch. Like you. A if you had one and to be cooler, yours would have like a guitar strap instead. Like uh, okay. Erica has a guitar strap on hers. I do mm. have a couple that have yeah. those, yeah. I wear a backpack because I'm not doing that. I don't care. Backpacks make me nervous. Not be not wearing them, but people running around the mall wearing backpacks. I just assume they're all terrorists. Gotcha. Yeah. You know, you, I I have a like a messenger bag type thing, but I only carry it when I go to Gasparilla. So I have a place to keep my beer. But that's a that's a I mean that makes sense. It's not you sure. Know, not like I go around just, every day with it. It's just an excuse for him to have a merce. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not I'm not sold. So I used again. to have this really cool olive green messenger bag, and I have no idea what happened to it. And now I want it again. Now yeah. I need to find it. It was from the Gap. It was olive green. This is that moment, and it Jack. Like I'm Indiana just going to point it out to you that, th- find that this fucking is bag when you have a gift that you can that she really wants that yeah. you can find. For I just her bought her a four hundred dollar purse for Christmas. She's done. Yeah, but this is this is for like next year. No, it's, yeah. I'm I'm dwindling down now. I'm gonna. I, I went maximum. Now I'm going minimum. No, that makes sense. Yeah. No, no. Next year she's getting a ten dollar plan. No more fucking plans. No more. No this more. girl has too okay. much. I'll stop buying all the stuff that you need on Amazon oh. for our same day delivery. Yes. <laughs> oh, I like where this is going. How does that make you feel, Jack? <laughs> Drew, uh, sorry, fine. Drew. How does that make you feel? I'll start. Oh, you yeah, know, whatever. Oh, um, now he's upset about it. No, I, here's the thing. She does buy stuff on Amazon because she's like, what do you need? If I, if I order $25 worth, it's free shipping. So... She is the one that's caught up on this free shipping thing, which no, I I'm okay it the with. Next day, I don't care. Whatever. But. I'm just like, okay, if you want, if we need to buy something that's eight more dollars, I'll. You don't know. you have Amazon Prime? Yeah, that's what she's talking about. Yeah, but he doesn't have Amazon Prime. I don't so do if Amazon. He buys it himself. Uh huh. I don't do Prime. Amazon, but I also my card is the only one linked in at Sam's Club. So when we go to Sam's Club and we order. We have to buy all the shit. It's always out of my account. So, you know, that's the back and forth. It's like this she is, does the Amazon. This is what happens before you're married. And then, I do the Then Sam's. you're just paying for everything. It don't fucking right. matter. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, my wife just uses my credit card. Hold right. on. Oh, try, that, try that again, again, Joe. My wife just uses my credit card mm-hmm. everywhere she goes. I mean, we just I just, yeah. gave, her, I exactly. just gave her shared cards for yeah. everything. He mm-hmm. forgets that I have $75 that comes out of my account every two weeks for dog food that comes Ooh. to the house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like this. Mm-hmm. Everything. Bills, Here yeah. comes everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cat food. True. Yeah, How does that around. make you feel? Mm-hmm. Perfect. Emasculated. <laughs> I set that up nicely. Uh, yes, you, do. <laughs> you don't feel emasculated. Who feeds all no. the fish? Who no. feeds all the fish? Oh, I do. Those so. are Amazon purchases. But, but if yeah. I physically feed the fish, so if she didn't, I mean, she buys the food. But if I didn't actually feed them, they would die. Because I always feed the fish. She doesn't. Because feed the fish. I get to work before the sun comes up. I've never met two people who wanted to feed more shit in their house than. Than you like, <laughs> between all the fucking plants, all the fucking fish, you know, you know all they're the gonna dogs, get gerbils cats. and hamsters next, right? Uh, all, all the guests yeah, we have, we yeah. just fed you guys today. It, you know what? I've never met two people who hated traveling and having a yeah. good time together next as time, much next, as these do. Next year yeah. at the state fair, they're gonna buy their sugar gliders. Oh, <laughs> Simon will eat them for breakfast. Right, yeah. Simon would jump and snatch them out of the air. I wouldn't mind having a flying squirrel, or you know. Problem is we have a koi pond, and if we if I had I, I want a um an otter, mm-hmm. they'll oh, eat they'll all eat the, everything. They'll eat everything, yeah. Those Which maybe that's a good solution. Are nasty to the little bastards. Are they? No, they're friendly. If you get them young enough, they're friendly. Like they're a just, raccoon. They need a lot of space to play though. They, that that's not even big. Enough. Man, we have what? Plenty. No, like they need a lot of like room to swim and everything. Really? One alligator could solve all your problems. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I know. Just, <laughs> Get just a pet like, alligator, all these things go away. Hey, yeah. An alligator and a boar would solve more problems in a kiln. Like the guy in New York just got his alligator taken away from him. I think he's had it like I, 20 years. Yeah, right? I've seen two of those stories, actually. Like, there was the one in Buffalo that yeah. they had it for years. But then there was like another place somewhere else in New York that got broken up for, I think it was for drugs and stuff, and they... They ended up having a gator in their house too. Like that's the thing to do in New York now. Yeah. Let's have a gator. And last year the guy showed up well, at a baseball game as the emotional support gator. <laughs> Go figure. Didn't they used to end up in like the subway or the sewers that's because just people would? Bullshit. Well, I don't mean like recently, but I mean no, like in the nineties. Like, that was like wasn't a... for true though. Okay, I wasn't sure, but I knew that it was, was a long time ago yeah. they were saying that. They think people flush them and then they end up with gators running the subways, the sewers. But no, that's all bullshit. All right, so most felt like a speed bump. Uh, 
U.S. man on getting vasectomy amid earthquake. Oh. Yeah. He, he's, he's sitting there in the chair, and the doctor's got his hand, one hand on his, on his junk and the other hand on the scalpel, and he's like, stay oh. still. Stay still. <laughs> stay still. <laughs> if one has to consider one of the most chaotic places to be during an earthquake, <laughs> the operating table of your own Oof. vasectomy is surely up there on the list. Oh, God. Uh, for Justin Allen from Horsham, Pennsylvania, uh, this was his exact reality on Friday when the New York City metropolitan area, which Lisa said she felt the hurricane, maybe she said she Her slept earthquake. She, she, or the earthquake, maybe she slept through it. Um, the metropolitan area and its outskirts were shaken by a 4.8 <laughs> earthquake um, centered near Le- Lebanon, New York, or I'm sorry, New Jersey. New Jersey. Um, According to the U.S. Geological Survey, uh, though people reported feeling its effects across New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts, and Pennsylvania. Now, Jay, were you in New Jersey at the time? I was, and I was in Nashville. We did not feel it there. Did you have workers up there that felt it? Did anybody say? They all did, yes. Okay. Yeah. But, um, but I will say, if I was on the table getting operated on for anything, but especially a vasectomy, uh, I would say that that's divine intervention. I'm out. You get up. Like, get, yeah, that's it. This is. We're not going to do this now. You're done. Yeah. Yep. I think Lisa said she slept through it. Um, well, it was at 10:23 in the morning, so I don't know what time she goes to work. She said she slept through it, but some books did fall over. Yeah. Um, I've never been through an earthquake. Knock on wood. Most people in New um, York have not because it's very. No, they rare. say they happen all the time. Very rare that it happens on the East Coast. When we were younger, I I remember like twice. Yeah, but it's very through. rare that it happens on the East Coast. I heard it happens, but they just don't feel them possible i mean maybe your girlfriend's is it in yet uh, yeah Yeah, i mean i don't know um he said i thought maybe a train was passing by or it was just something that happens at the office (laughs) even when the doctor was like i think this is an earthquake (laughs) i figured he was messing with me but he had to stop because everything was shaking Um, Uh, it was it was lisa's day off that's why she wasn't in the office uh, Mm -hmm. so um yeah I'm sure if it was bad enough. Then. I've I've had family like my my sister, my brother, my mom. They all felt it. Um, I have friends and in laws out in Long Island. They all felt it. But if you look up where it happened, like it's very close to Staten Island, so that's like mm-hmm. that's where my family is, and they 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 for sure. My my sister said the house was shaking and everything. Right. He said, Alan said the doctor operating on him put the tools down for a moment. <laughs> We talked about how we'd never forget where we were at that moment. <laughs> Checking out a <laughs> pair of balls. <laughs> yeah. Having a scalpel ready to go. Uh, right. Uh, a court, and I hate the name of this. Why, why do they call it the Mayo Clinic? I always think of mayonnaise. Um, according to the Mayo Clinic, <laughs> many vasectomies procedures are done using local anesthesia, which I have to assume he was already at, like numbed, n- up. numbed it's, up. It's local, so it's only... Like, so the nuts. So you're still awake. Yeah. Num, num nuts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, per- precisely. Um, so he probably wouldn't even have known. Now I've had a few friends get vasectomies. They all say it feels like a little like a, a like they take a rubber band and it like if they were to snap you. The fibrous tissue. There's a song from Family Guy. Oh. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um, I probably would recognize it if I heard it in person. Um, but yeah, they say it's a very small pinch and then you don't feel anything after that. And you're half a man. And it's 1200. You're half a man. That's what you say to all the girls. It's about 1200 bucks. It's a small pinch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I should get one. I know. No. You guys, I think you may as well have kids. What are you going to do? You got all these Negatory. animals. You can't go anywhere. You someone to take care of the fish Two, three on kids. You too, huh? Come on, guys. No way. Yeah. No way. Oh, it'll be so much more fun. The show with the little background uh, music. Being <laughs> screaming. <laughs> no. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. I can feel the tension. I think tonight's going to be special for you, too. <laughs> it, tonight it might happen. The, the baby might come from this <laughs> moment. Nope. All right. Um, so 18-year-old drunk passenger jumps from cruise line. Bang. Um, drunk cruise ship passenger 20 jumps overboard from 18 story Royal Caribbean's Liberty of the Seas into a sea off Cuba 
at 4 a.m. as family watched helplessly. Like just wanted to die or? Yeah. Um, he got into an argument with his parents over being too drunk. Oh. And maybe he was going to swim to Cuba. Yeah. Well, he said, uh, he says. Uh, did they find him? No. no. He did. You have, so he didn't say anything. You have such a, <laughs> he did. You have such a small window to like save that person. Well, at 4 a.m. it's yeah. pitch black. Yeah. It's in the middle no, of water. You're, yeah. you're just fucking shark bait. They're hunting. Yep. That's 18 it. stories. He's already like 300 feet up. No. So as we were walking, this is a witness. He goes, as we were walking from the hot tub back to the elevators, his dad and brother were walking towards us, he said. His dad was fussing at him about being drunk. The man reportedly said to his dad, I'll fix this right now, before he jumped. Witness De- Deborah Morrison told the Post the family was horrified. A spokesperson for the U.S. Coast Guard told DailyMail.com on Friday morning they still consider it a rescue operation. Um, that's that's perfect. He's like, I'm going to show you. You guys are going to suffer the rest. I mean, of what kind of life. guilt are you putting on the parents for that Good. shit? You know, it's and that's like, what that's what he wanted to do. He's like, oh, yeah. he's going to kill himself just to spite you. That's that's dedication. Now, yeah, he was just drunk and stupid. He didn't really. He wasn't. No, you got to give him some. Doesn't credit. sound like he was really trying to do himself in. He just. Mm-hmm. But how much? I would guess if we knew the history of this family, there's some issues. Sure, like you shouldn't take him on a cruise. Right. Well, and you he, shouldn't allow your underage son to be drinking that much. Yeah. Yeah. So what's what's the drinking age on ships? Yeah, it looks like he's the. This is uh, the it, it is twenty one. Like conductor of an orchestra. It is yeah, twenty one, but eighteen. Waters, a like, parents can give. His uh, hair couldn't keep him afloat. <laughs> That's fucked up. Parents can actually give permission for them to drink at eighteen and over. Okay. Just. Just beer and wine. So no, we have video no of him in the water. Do we want that? <laughs> so this is the video. So they have video of him in the water and they couldn't get him? Well, yeah, because it's just too dark. He's like swimming. Oh, I didn't know that. I don't think that's him because they were saying shark. Oh yeah, they're too close to him from being in a... This is that other one that actually they saw the sharks, I think. This is what was attached to the video, so I don't know. I mean, no. they're saying that was him. Cameron look, Robbins. They look, that wasn't his name. They look way too close to him to know. be on, like, a big cruise ship. Okay. <clears throat> I have not been on a cruise, Jay, so I'll leave you as the expert in that. How so the hell what, would you be able to? I got a question, though. Like, what have you been searching on your computer? Because I see the ads that pop up on your screen. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of uh, bathing suits for, like, um... Well, Joe, we're all figured women. This is my drinking with Drew show computer. So So, go figure. I don't know. Anything we search is related to the drinking with Drew show. So let's just go with that. Okay. (laughs) You did see that though, right? I did. uh, (laughs) I mean. And and the penis pump ad. Yeah. (laughs) All right. So Swedish made penis enlarging pump registration card. All right. So. my bag, baby. This guy ran 10,000 miles. Wait, is this this is a Buddha bang for Lisa, right? It can be. I mean, I'm yes. sure she's... Let's do this. Lisa, are you still on? Yeah, it's, she's still on. Okay. Right. Let's Buddha bang this. All right, we'll Buddha bang it for Lisa. Go ahead. A 10, 000, he ran 10,000 miles, and uh, 352 days later, a UK man reaches his goals of running the length of Africa. From one end of Africa to the other in, in less than a year. Yeah. And every year he ran, every day... He ran like, like, what it was it, thirty miles or something? I, I don't know. Um, sore and sandblasted, but triumphant. Runner Russ Cook reached the northernmost point of Ac- Africa on Sunday, almost a year after he set off from its southern tip on a quiet or on a quest to run the length of the continent. Um, dozens of supporters gathered on a rocky outcrop besides the Mediterranean and northern. Tunisia, cheering on British charity fundraiser who has run more than 16,000 kilometers, 10,000 miles, across 16 countries in 352 days. He goes, I'm a little bit tired. (laughs) Um, He says, in the course of his journey, the 27-year-old endurance athlete from Worthington, um, I got a pop-up ad, Um, from Worthington, where did I go? In southern England. Hang on. Next, down, down, down. Yes. All right, in the course, of, I couldn't see it because I got the pop-up. Shush. If Get you want to read them, you can read them. 
and the course of his journey, the 27-year-old endurance athlete went from Worthington in southern England, crossed the jungle and desert, swerved conflict zones, and was delayed by theft, injury, and visa problems. Boot. Yeah, okay. Um, Cook, known on social media by his nickname, Hardest Geezer, <laughs> set off on April 22nd, 2023 from Cape Agulhas in South Africa to the continent's most southern point. He hoped to complete the journey in 240 days, running the equivalent of more than a marathon every day. That's 26 miles, Joe. That's ridiculous. Yeah. At but least. he obviously didn't do that because he did it in 350-something. Yeah, but he still did 352 days for 10,000 miles. He said which he... Is still, which is still 30 miles a day. He and well, his no, team... only 26, so if he had to do 240 for a marathon. All right. He and his team had money, passports, and equipment stolen <laughs> at gunpoint um, in Angola. He was temporarily halted by a back pain in Nigeria. And he was almost stopped in his tracks by the lack of a visa to enter Algeria before diplomatic intervention from the Algerian uh, embassy in Britain managed to secure the required documents. Now, that's what's weird about Africa. Like we think about like the like North America, like Canada and the United States, um, like Africa, you don't realize those are all separate Africa. Well, most people realize that. I know, but no, no, no. I'm just saying. I realize it, Joe. But it's not, just not not our listeners. <laughs> you, you think of it as a continent, but each of those are countries in there, and you Lisa don't. Lisa like, says, "When would he have time to bang?" <laughs> <laughs> Listen, True. Yeah. He's 27. <laughs> she he went 10,000 miles. He's got endurance. He, he could only, be bang, He could be banging all night long. He, he only was delayed has, by a back pain. He's pushing 40 feeling. He's he's 27. <laughs> hey, look. He, he only has we time have a in between. Camera. Look, we have a trolling camera. He only has time in between the run and his shower, so he's hitting you before the shower. Uh, all right, we're doing all the work. I know there's a lot of ask like, Lisa. I'm peeing. There's a lot of text to this, so Laura, if you want to scroll down some of it, but it he also ran through um, food poisoning. Like he he was sick. I think he had COVID or something. Like there's a whole bunch of shit that he ran through. I know the article is long, but you don't have to read it. Uh, so all, is but. this the same guy? So there was a Brit is this where is this guy from? He's he's from like southern England. Yeah, it might be the same guy. There's someone else in, in the news. He says running helps to deal with his mental health issues. <coughs> mental health struggles. No, it's the reason he has mental health Probably. struggles. Um it might be the same guy, but there was a guy that, that ran for like seventy two hours Gump. Gump. or eighty hours. No, it's he's Three like years, a real two live months, fourteen days and he, sixteen he hours. He literally ran straight through for like seventy two or eighty hours. I think he has a Guinness world record. We were yeah. talking about it last week, but um he ended up he just stopped. Kind of same thing. He just No, I was done. Yeah, he was done. He was bored with it. Like I'm kinda what? tired. There's nothing else. Now. Yeah, there's nothing else to prove. Yeah. Um, but he actually, yeah, yeah. He, he doesn't get tired and he doesn't, his, uh, whatever the buildup of in your, uh, all the rest of us would get tired from it, from whatever. I don't know. Come on, Joe, you're supposed to help me there. I don't if know. If you're running, what happens? One. You get muscle cramps or something. Yeah. He gets nothing, nothing. He has no problem. He could literally run forever. He says, so, he didn't like, sleep. This guy didn't sleep. Imagine 72, 80 hours of running and you didn't sleep at all. Can you imagine running a marathon every day though? Well, like, he drug tested. He probably had a shit ton of No, money. there's something. Well, it, they guy, actually ran a bunch of tests on this guy because they wanted to turn, make a, like, super soldier. This guy, after the, after he's done, he's like, fuck it. We're just going to go sit on the beach and drink strawberry daiquiris now. Perfect. <laughs> I'm Googling this guy now. So the guy, the guy you're talking about is a different guy. I don't know. It might be the same guy. Oh. Okay. We're going to get two cameras on Jay. Or maybe we should go side camera to Joe. Should. Should we go to Joe? Let me go to Joe. Let's go down. There's a little side face of Joe. Joe side face. Laura's not even clicking on it. Where's it at? Thor. What's up, Joe side face? <laughs> All right. Let's show the photo. No, oh, we didn't Wait, show the photo ask, yet. We gotta ask Lisa if she's banging or not. Yeah, Lisa, booter bang, the the marathon runner. I think we got Brad on too now. In Africa, and he's from Southern England, twenty-seven. Uh, I don't see a standalone photo. Well, then you 
there was another article that had it. The article that I forwarded you had it. Yeah, he didn't have that article because it wasn't talking about him being sick. That's him right there. He looks yeah, like huh. an Irish Forrest Gump, that red beard. <laughs> she says bang. Turbo tax. Okay, let me get through this. You can put it on Joe or you. Joe's pony. Joe's pony. Joe's little squirrely pony. Yeah. All right, we're going to wait for this. Right. What, was, what was your guy's name? Cook. All right, so this, this guy with the world record, his name is Dean Carnazis. He completed the longest nonstop run by a human being in 2005. So this is old news. Yeah. He ran 350 miles nonstop. <clears throat> it took him 80 hours and 44 minutes. And, uh, and if he had to pee, he peed on the run. I'm, a lot of athletes uh, do that, Joe. Play the video. All right, here's the video. He raised like eight hundred and ninety thousand yeah. dollars. It's not that much, though. After what has been an epic journey, he's got the man bun. I'm assuming. There you. there you go. That's a good photo right there. All right, Lisa Booterbang. She, she said, she said bang. bang. Oh, she's banging the Irish. Uh... I think that was before she saw he was a redhead. <laughs> <laughs> resume is oh, not hey, easy. how are you doing? All right. Well, my That's guy, a great photo right there. my guy actually did fifty marathons. Your guy in all fifty states in fifty consecutive days. Wow, consecutive days! I'm surprised they had that many scheduled well, marathons. I mean, he can just go day. and run one. I guess just you don't, run you, around you don't town. need other people to do it. He just go and run it. <laughs> so he did a marathon every day, every day, back to back. Yep, in a different state. He's, <laughs> he's done ultra marathons. He's done it all. Well, are it. is are you talking about sanctioned marathons? Or he just ran the length of a marathon. Doesn't say, but he's done plenty of sanctioned ones too. But well, of course, he's best known for the 350 <clears throat> miles he ran. Inside. How old is he? Uh, he's probably dead now. <laughs> right. I know. So he's all these marathon runners die. He stopped running because he dropped dead. Mm. All right. Did you guys hear about the heist on Easter? Yeah. What's up with that? That's amazing. I missed it. There was a. Uh... They stole money. Yeah, wow. they stole thirty million dollars. Where was this? The Lufthansa, um, Lufthansa heist at the airport. Yeah, <laughs> thieves steal. <laughs> thir- <laughs> thieves steal thirty million from vault and Easter heist. Leave without a trace. Cops have no idea how they did it. It's easy. They built. A, they cut a fucking hole in the wall. I, they said they went through the roof. Um, what was they showing a picture of a hole in the wall? They said they didn't know if that hole was related to the heist. Oh. Let's talk about it. Okay. All right. In a heist of biblical proportions, thieves pilter, uh, pilfered good, good about fellas. $30 million in cash from a Los Angeles area vault on Easter Sunday. And no one even noticed the empty vault until the next morning. The burglary took place Sunday night at a Garda World facility in Silmar, which handles cash for several businesses in the area. The thieves were so stealthy that they, the safe showed no signs of a break-in from the outside, and the operators of the business were none the wiser until they opened in uh, Monday morning. Now, here's a photo, if you want to show that, Laura. That's on the back side of the building, but <laughs> on, the, on, the, on, the, on this, the, the picture says, footage of the facility on Wednesday showed what appeared to be a gaping hole in the side of the building with a pile of debris next to it. But that's not really debris. That's like, like they they use the forms to hold the board up so they can put concrete. So they 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 put a cement wall up. Right. But if that's you, like the repair afterwards. But in the story, it says it's they don't know if that was related to the incident. So then why even put the picture? I agree. That's stupid. Um, so have they caught the people yet? No. no they no. have no clue who it is. All right. Do they want our help? No. <laughs> no I'm not. But I want to. I want to know who they are. I want to help we, them on the next one. No. No. What's how much money will they pay us to figure it out? Eh, I'd rather just help them on the next one. Um, footage of the facility on Wednesday showed what appeared to be a gaping hole in the side of the building with a pile of debris next to it, though it was unclear if the damage stemmed from the break-in. Very few people would have known how much cash was stored at the nondescript facility. So there's a nondescript facility just like this just that was next to warehouse. the warehouse. 
Yeah, it just they have. They just need to use fancy language to make us feel bad. But there was one of these in Ybor City, right next to the dog park. There's, I thought they moved it. I don't they think did. It's not there anymore. It's not there anymore. But it was there for years. Um, it was a Brinks facility, <clears throat> and basically, it was a money. It was a cash dispensary area where they would take in funds and and dispense it out. Um, but they had no markings on the building, nothing like that. Um, so. The that, only way you knew there was money in there is if you bring, bring the Uber. I mean, the bottom the bottom line is it's an inside job. It's, it's either be, somebody well, that used to work there or friend, somebody that currently works there. It's a family member or And we're going to start giving lie detector tests to every fucker that worked there ever. And then, yep. yeah. And we're going to, we are only asking for $5 million as payment. <laughs> <laughs> the heist is one of the largest in Los Angeles history and also outpaced all the region's armored car thefts. I guess they have a lot of armored car thefts yep, in the area. It's L.A. There's a lot gangs. of gangs. Yeah. Um, as of, $30 million in cash is untraceable. As of Thursday, the incident is under investigation by both Los Angeles P- Police Department and the FBI. The LAPD and the Garda World Facility did not immediately return the post request for comment. Oh, shit. Um, it says the Easter Sunday theft comes nearly two years after up to a $100 million and jewels and other valuables were taken from an armored big rig at a grapevine truck stop. The thieves stuffed 20 large bags full of gems during the 27-minute robbery that took place during the driver's nap. <laughs> <laughs> you got that kind of shit in your truck. You, that, better, says, you better never let him take it. There's only one driver. You have another driver come and drive yeah. that truck. You do anything says, else. That you, have is the, armed, you have armed guards sitting on the That fucking, is the most yeah. unbelievable thing I've ever says, heard. The crime remains unsolved. And that's the the twenty. That's the hundred yeah. million dollar jewel. That they haven't solved that one either. Crazy. They're so, never gonna, they're never gonna solve this. No, and it's just so stupid. You know, whatever. <sighs> so, is there anything around here that we can rob? Um, just, just sure, curious. we should announce it on here. Right. Let's yeah. let's talk about let's rob something, and then all of a sudden, hypothetically, rob. premeditation, oh, Joe. Okay. Hypothetically, Bank, Bank of America. All right, so this is a weird story. Wells Fargo. <laughs> Iowa Chase Hospital. Bank. I'll name them all this way. When one gets robbed, they're coming to the show. Right. <laughs> I, uh, AI is just going to filter out everything that's ever been discussed about it. Mm-hmm. You go on, go on uh, Bard or Gemini and be like, drinking with Jerusha. Oh, yeah, they rob people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those criminals. Yeah. Right. Um, Ohio. Look at, these, look at these swimsuits. Or, all right. I'm starting over, you guys. <laughs> sorry, so sorry. You're reading twenty percent off your first order. Yeah, it's nothing to do with me. Um, Iowa hospital you know, executive. Iowa hospital executive stole hot dog cart vendor's identity and used it for three decades while obtaining two hundred thousand dollars in loans. With the victim labeled crazy and thrown into a mental hospital when he complained. Oh, now this is an insane story. Sounds it. So, basically, yes, she's sleeping. Oh, mm-hmm. come on. <laughs> camera on her with her forehead with the fucking microphone. She's the one who does me. the camera. Uh, it yeah. sucks. He could one day I'll get over. somebody in here that cares. Um, well, as long as you don't yell at them. Yeah. yeah. And as long as you don't trigger them. That's oh, funny. triggered. That's we got yelled at, too, tonight. Yeah, he gaslights, too. Uh, yeah. He's a we got to use the new terminology. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sure we do. <laughs> and Iowa, I'm, I'm like Ellen. I'm a what? She, what? She's being accused of it, being a, an aggressive host. Yeah. I yell at all my Ellen. employees. <laughs> you're comparing yourself to Ellen. <laughs> you're a, you're a much uglier lesbian. I sure. agree. Yeah. Yes. I was called a lesbian one time when I shaved my beard. Um. <laughs> anywho, yeah. an Iowa hospital executive. Um. Casey thought you were a lesbian when she first met you. I'm pretty sure that oh, was the story. That's true. Lesbian or gay? Well, no, no, she thought I was a lesbian because a butch lesbian at a gay bar because I was with Jess and we were hanging out at some gay bar in Ebor when I met Casey. But that's a whole different and story. Did you look butch lesbian? I no, mean, I looked like I was a dude with short hair. I had short hair back then. Okay. Mm. Ask Casey. She was drunk. <clears throat> All right. An Iowa hospital executive stole a hot dog cart vendor's identity in 1988 to rack up $200,000 in loans marry and have a child using the stolen name while the victim was locked up in a mental hospital for trying to claim his identity back. 
Matthew David Kieran's 58, is now facing up to 32 years in prison after he was convicted of one count of false uh, false statements to a National Credit Union Administration uh, insured institution and one count of aggravated identity theft. 30 years of, of, of this and he only gets one count each? Apparently. I feel like everything he did under the identity would have count for another count. Well, this other guy was in a, an insane asylum because they thought he was crazy because he kept on saying that's that's not my yeah so maybe they thought he was sleepwalking or something karen (laughs) stole the identity of william woods 55 in 1988 now william woods is a crazy common name so let's go with that for a minute um when the pair worked together on a hot dog stand in albuquerque albuquerque new mexico albuquerque yeah he began to live under his name taking out loans getting married and starting a successful career in it woods discovered the fraud 30 years later and tried to reclaim his identity but authorities did not believe him and he was locked up and sent to a mental hospital for two years oh jeez! it was only when woods contacted the university where kiernan's kiernan's was working as an it executive on a hundred and forty thousand dollar salary that police investigated and did a dna test on the two men revealing the truth. Hurens the then admitted that decades long fraud telling investigators my life is over and everything is gone. He remained in custody of the US Marshals awaiting sentencing. So let's do a booter bang on this. Lisa, I want you to booter bang the man who stole the identity. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So he got married. Did the person he married think his name was Woods? Yes. So he just went around for thirty years claiming everybody his name was Woods. Right. So I mean, I can understand people who steal someone's identity just to like rack up bills or whatever and not pay the credit cards off. But why actually live the name? Like he gets a job under the other guy's name and hurt someone so else he, hurt someone else's credit no but he gets a job with the other guy's name right so if he gets a job out of his paycheck he's paying social security so the other That's guy the, plus the other guy is, is getting yeah. credit for paying social security for all the 30 years of working well, and he didn't do the any of the work that's the mis- life's about gonna, to get good for gonna, him now. he's gonna retire with nice social I'm, security I'm, I'm out of the mental institution exactly. i'm getting that i'm getting social exactly. security life is good and i bet the other guy's gonna try to sue for it Oh, mm, Lisa's, Lisa's gonna bang. banging. Okay, I'd seen the article before, so so yeah, we're booting. Yeah. You're booting. I'm booting. You're booting. Boot. Okay, I've already seen the picture. You've yeah. seen the picture. All right, show it up. There you go, Lisa. That's what does he look like? That's Jason and Stallworth. <laughs> <laughs> I... Stealing identities is metal. <laughs> metal. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, there's like a little like a small role actor that kind of looks like that yeah like he's bald like a, head he's, a, and that he's an extra goatee. in all the movies yeah mm-hmm. i'm not sure I, I think he was killed in one of those biker biker shows probably like sons of anarchy or something he was he got his head <laughs> smashed in <laughs> okie dokie um does anybody care about the biden diaries no no Man. didn't he, even see that one in the news he wrote out uh, he writes in a diary it's, it's a journal. well the issue is the, the daughters the daughter wrote a lot of very um detailed well detailed information about biden um in in the diary and it has a lot of really incriminating and embarrassing information about joe biden on the on the diary his and, son's an embarrassment enough well but this is worse this is way worse his son's dead um the one that's not dead joe and apparently th- this lady in Florida stole the diary and she just got a month in jail for stealing the diary. But they keep talking about the lady that stole the diary and her sentence, but they're not saying what's in the diary. So the issue is apparently there's a bad, 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 bad story about Joe Biden showering with the daughter when she was like a teenager inappropriately. And like the daughter's like, talking about it in the diary and it's like very bad almost criminal i think criminal depending it's, on who you're talking his to daughter? his daughter oh, it's his daughter he owns her 
Oh, okay. Do whatever he wants. <laughs> I, see. I see how that works. Kind of like what you do with your dogs. I, I, made, I made you. I own you. Wow. So I almost feel like... <laughs> I'm glad you don't have And I'm kids. not trying to stick up for like the Bidens or anything, but I almost feel like that's made up or it's not like somebody made up this diary because typically when people are molested or there's inappropriate interactions with like a, the adult parents their kids whatever they don't write about it in journals they go to therapy and talk okay. about it maybe but they don't put it down in writing and like for somebody else to find their secrets if they're trying okay to hide so them. so if it's fake then what is the other one getting arrested for well, because she still stole the diary i guess i don't fucking know all right so I you mean, know you, trump like, you came to my house and stole my dictionary like you're gonna go to jail for a month for stealing my dictionary sure Okay, so Trump's daughter also wrote a book about Trump. So is that also which daughter? Boss, the hot one, or the, the one not that, so but hot she one? the wrote, one that wrote a book. But she wrote a book and released it. So she's saying those are her stories. I don't know what stories she are in there. Do only but fans. this girl was like keeping a secret diary, and somebody just happened to find it. And I, I don't know. It's just see, I'm just Google searching what is in the Biden diary, and there's nothing there. Nothing there. Woman sentence the. Thief who stole diary belonging well, to Joe Biden. How do you know there's a story about him showering with oh, her? Oh, because that's been going on for the last five years. Like that story is out there. It's just being buried. It's like literally being buried so bad right now. Um, yeah, I just don't know how I feel about like the truthfulness of that one. Veracity. Fake news. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're claiming that you don't know it. You have no yeah. proof that it's fake no, news. No, I don't. But I just don't. Feel like, like I said, somebody who goes through something like that does not write it down in a diary. A lot of women write shit down in their they diary. Sure are you kidding do. me? I don't. I don't. Oh think my that. god! Today, they do. are you today fucking he hot? Put it in my butt. Women, what, that's like the sole source of women's fucking. That's their routine. They can't tell anybody. They can't tell so anybody. They write it in a journal, or and then they cut themselves. So, yeah, it's your fault. I cut myself. Jeez. I I definitely believe people write that stuff down. I just think that, yeah, this is politically motivated. So what do you believe at this point? So, you know, but who knows? The truth yeah. will never come out. Lisa's asking if, if you mean Trump's niece, Mary, and not yes. Trump's daughter. Whatever. Yes. Thank you, Lisa, for correcting because, Thank you. Because Mary's Thank the one that's like speaking out against Trump. That yes. She right. thinks he's an ass. Yes, she does. Yeah. But Ashley apparently is not a fan of her dad either. Who's Ashley? That's Biden's daughter. Oh. That wrote the we know we never hear about her, so I don't know. Yeah, whatever. I mean, can, I, can she do OnlyFans too? So it's not a political show, so I'm not going to get into the politics of it. But no, apparently, there are some serious ordeals. I see some dirty bastard there. There is some dirty bastard, which is what we drank tonight. Note to everybody: the daughters write it in their journal and talk about it. So don't do it. The sons don't tell anyone. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we're going to end it because we have like eight more stories. Laura's falling asleep. Um, oh, and you, you know. can't do stuff to her while she's sleeping anymore. They don't. They frown on that now. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, if you had, if you bought Eclipse sunglasses, nope, they were China. recalled. <laughs> they were made in China. You're probably they, they you're, should they should have like a no return policy. You're probably so. already blind, so it doesn't matter. But I'm just telling you right now. China Eclipse sunglasses. Save them for 2045 Recall. in Florida. Yep. Okay. Um, and we should we should stock up on them now because they're probably got a good price. Now that the eclipse is passed, we can get them all at discount, and we'll save them for 2045, and then we can resell them at a good price. It's a good investment right now. Okay. It's all and, upside. And and there's no way this was Ricky Martin's wiener. I mean, I don't know. I understand why you're so against his wiener. Well. Look at that. Can we? I'm afraid to display this on... This is Madonna's concert. Like, what the fuck? And there were like six-year-old, eight-year-old kids at, McDo at McDonald's at Madonna's concert. Like, Yeah, Chrissy said... Chrissy went to the concert when he she was here in Tampa. And she said it was not kid friendly. She, she said the women were topless. There were topless women, and there were some guys that she had to look to see if they were if they were bottomless, and they had bottoms on, but they were they like were, nude color. They were almost like un unseeable. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's just because Madonna is no longer in her prime. I'm not saying she put on a bad show. I didn't see it, but 
before it used to be Madonna and her two backup dancers that she had for like two decades that she went, you know, touring with. And that's all she had. That was her performance. Now she has to have dozens of dancers all around her to distract from the fact that she's... That she's 68? Right. She's, you know, in her 60s. She can't do that anymore, but she's still going on tour. But she's so still... She goes it's crazy. shock value. That's what she's right. always done. That's what Can she knows works. Eight? All right, let's go to so. camera eight real quick. The dude just goes right up onto his, his uh, you know... I mean, and that's dude on dude right there. Well, it, that's dude on well, dude on dude. Yeah. I mean, Ricky Martin's gay, right? Yes. We all know that. Gay so. Years ago. Look at that hard on. Yeah, it's in his, like, it's not down his leg. What are you talking about down his leg? It's just in his pants where it's supposed to be. He's trying to cover it with the cardboard. Right. But do you get, I still think it's fake because I don't care how. I mean, he's not wearing underwear, so he's just, like, shooting straight out. But how do you know? How do you know he's not wearing but underwear? But you were saying it was down his pant leg. I don't see it down his pant leg. So otherwise, at least it would be contained. I think it's very difficult to get wood in an entertainment situation no. like that. I mean, Joe, you get wood walking across the street. Oh, I'm just, of course. I'm talking about, like, an entertainer that has probably done this show ten times. He's probably not getting the, the aroused drink, at that level. The Drinking with Drew show? I think that's a prop, and no matter what show they're at, that's going to be in his pants to make people see it. It's possible. <clears throat> it's definitely it. I, I think you're just jealous because he's got a big cock, and you know. Hey, I'm okay with my <laughs> I'm okay with my schmedium. Then he's okay? jealous of everyone. Yeah, well, that's all good. That's all good. Yeah, Christy said Madonna was like making out with like all the different dancers and everything. Of course. Hey, she did it once with Britney Spears, so it yep. made all the news. And, yeah. and yeah, but. There was another girl on the stage, too, with, with Christina Aguilera or one of the other ones. Yeah, Christina Aguilera. So she turns to one and kisses one, then turns to the other one and kisses the second one. But the second one is the one that most caught on video, and that's the one that everyone focused on. Britney like, kiss. Yeah, but she kissed the other one first. Like, there was two girls there. Three, yeah. There were three girls on the stage at the time. Okay. Are we okay with... Uh Dutch woman, 28, to be euthanized over mental illness after a psychiatrist said it would never get any better. She's choosing to. She's it, we're just, just one or all 28-year-old mentally health? Oh. Just one. It says Dutch woman, 28, to be euthanized over mental illness after a psychiatrist said it will never get any better. Um, a 28-year-old Dutch woman is slated to be euthanized next month because her struggles with mental illness after her psychiatrist said her condition will never improve. Zayora Terbeck lives in nice house, or I'm sorry, in a nice house. <laughs> I thought it was like I think, nice. we, I think we should euthanize. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. True. Yeah. After seven beers, Drew cannot read. Um, Zayora Terbeek lives in a nice house in a small Dutch town near German border with her boyfriend and two cats. That's the that's the point. Two cats. The cats. The cats go drive you crazy. Despite being physically healthy, she plans to end her life. Due to her depression, autism, and borderline personality disorder, she once had ambitions to become a psychiatrist, <laughs> but she was never able to finish school or start a career due to her own mental illness. But now she is tired of living and wishes to end her life, she told the outlet. He must be the shittiest boyfriend ever. Right, I was going to say, she needs to like, is, live she, with she just herself needs a, and her cats and she'd be happy. Yeah. Yeah, but it's a matter of choice, like if she chooses to end her life. If people want to commit suicide, right. why are they we don't let it, them. Why are they calling it euthanasia? Why don't they just call it suicide? She didn't OD on take because, some pills, fall asleep, and never wake up. Like, because she won't because go to heaven. She's having like a medical procedure. A doctor's going to come in the house, put an injection, and put her to sleep. Oh, he should that's, go to jail then. That's ridiculous. <laughs> why? Because, you know what? You take, her, take, her on say, a, take her on a fucking cruise ship then. Get her drunk. Her and see if she just jumps off on her own. I want to know how long they've been together. So how's her sex life? Is he going down on her? Like, is he pleasing her? Like, this, well, yeah. the, going the, the night, this is the, the night before her fault. procedure, she's going to take a shot in the eye. You know, probably. I mean, <laughs> this is definitely the boyfriend's fault. Yeah. I'm a hundred percent sure. Mm -hmm. So, reach out to the show, honey. I promise you, things will be better. She listens it's, to the show. Yeah, it's definitely. Yeah. That's sure. why she wants to kill yeah. herself. Yeah, and kill your boyfriend. <laughs> You'll be happier. Yeah. She says, but. <laughs> Where the tree of life stands for growth and new beginnings, my tree is the opposite. She has a tattoo of that. It's 
It is losing its leaves. It is dying. And once the tree died, the bird flew out of it. I don't see it as my soul leaving, but more as myself being freed from life. Tear Beak's decision came after her psychiatrist told her that they have tried everything uh, to help her mental health. There's nothing more we can do for you. It's never going to get any better. Uh, she recalled her psychiatrist saying, according to the free press. Just gave up. There's there's no fucking way. Like this is yeah. this. The, the, whoever her doctors and therapists are, they all should be fired. Oh, they right. should take away their licenses. Well, uh, this is coming. This get, is coming from her. Yeah, this is coming of, from her. They're not. This is secondhand information. Uh, so she's saying what they like. She's accused. Like, Maybe we're losing something missed, in the in the translation. Yeah, she misunderstood yes. something they said. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So but I feel like if there if there's going to be another physician who is going to be doing the euthanasia, <laughs> he's got to get like signing. Oh, I we spoke to the therapist. They actually said there's nothing that can be done. <laughs> like I don't just think someone could be like my therapist said that they can't fix me, so I want to die. Okay, great. Here, here's a. They don't. They, it's. I don't think they would do that. I yeah. feel like the therapist would have to have said something like that. But if, if to we had sign doctors, off on it. if but, we had doctors like that here, we could definitely clean up the population. <laughs> but we don't allow that. So we because we don't allow it, people go and try and kill themselves in weird ways, and we end up with people in the hospital like a half broken leg, and you know. So the doctor really takes her time. She told the Free Press. It is not that they walk in and say, lay down, please. Uh, most of them, it is first a cup of coffee to settle the nerves and create a soft atmosphere. Then she asks if I am ready. I will take my place on the couch. She will once again ask if I am sure, and she will start up the procedure and wish me a like good journey. Uh, or in my case, a nice nap, because I hate it if people say, safe journey, I'm not going anywhere. Next, the doctor will administer a, administer a, sedi a sedative. sedative and then a drug to stop tears. I hate that name. Tear her beaks. Just heart. say her. Okay. Thank you. Um, following her death, a euthanasia review committee will evaluate Tear Beak's death to ensure <laughs> doctors do care criteria. Had the Dutch government will declare that her life was lawfully ended. No funeral will be held following... Her death. Instead, her boyfriend will scatter her ashes in an area in the woods they, they chose together what? as she wishes what to be created. Dick. Yeah, he's a total dick. I did not want he to didn't burn even him. marry her. He didn't like, even fucking marry her. What a piece well, of shit. He's still got three weeks left. Let's I, listen to yeah. the next line. This is where this is where I, this I, is his fault I, based on this next line. I did not want to burden my partner with having to keep the grave tidy, she said. We have not picked a urine yet, but that a will urine, be an urn. A urine. Y'all urine. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shut up. Urine, I'm, baby. Urine. urine. I'm drunk. Um, but that will be my new house. Um, <laughs> she admitted that she is somewhat afraid of dying because she is unsure of what, if anything, happens after death. I'm a little afraid of dying because it's the ultimate unknown, she said. We don't really know what's next, or there's nothing. That's a scary part. I call bullshit. The Netherlands in 2001 became the first country in the world to legalize euthanasia. Now at least eight countries have legalized it. Assisted suicide is also legal in 10 U.S. states and the Washington, D.C., and all six states in Australia. Um, Protestant Theological University healthcare ethics professor Theo Boren served on a euthanasia review board in the Netherlands from 2005 to 2014. During this time, he told the free press he observed Dutch euthanasia evolve from death being a last resort to death being a default option. I mean, if we did that in the United States, at least in Florida. Um, I mean, if it's people's choice, if they want to die, well, right, why but, should we stop them? Okay, I agree with that. But what about the people we know are crazy but don't want to die? Then we're not. They're not going to like not gonna. ask for it. I think that if you're not forcing if it you on want it, it's a choice. To huh? Do assisted suicide <laughs> or euthanasia? I think that it should be similar to the um, the process to transition your sexuality or your sex. So if you you have to go through you, like a minimum three. three you have to go through like a year of living the life of the other gender. You have to go to therapy. You have to like. There's a whole long process. So do you just get a coffin so you're gonna and you're pretend to be dead, dead for a year? No. <laughs> I think that if you just sleep in a coffin every night. I think that if your reason for wanting to be 
killed other than having like a terminal cancer illness, something like that. If it's just because I'm so depressed, I don't want to live anymore. I think they should have to be forced to do therapy for a year. But why? I mean, it's the a first choice. answer from the therapist should be, Who have, are you you th- to- have you thought about getting a new boyfriend for a little while? <laughs> right. There, there's probably you somebody thought better. about being single and focusing yeah. on yourself? I mean, she could probably get a of, prostitute to kind of like pop, pop, pop. You that know? guy is the biggest piece of garbage I've ever heard right. of. The fact that she's stressed about, I don't want my partner taking, having to take care of the grave. He's not going to fucking do that. Like, you know, he's not going to do Like, it's so annoying. Like, that's why I think that they should be like, you need to live by yourself. You need to focus on yourself. Yep. You need to have therapy. You need to, you know, do yoga or meditation, whatever the fuck it is. Like, they need to try every single thing before they can be like, okay, we're done. You can go. Bye. Like, he, it's done. he already has a new boyfriend or a girlfriend. Yeah. So she should do the same. That's what she needs. She needs a girlfriend. There you go. <coughs> she needs a friend. She needs somebody. Yeah. Who yeah, but says better things to her. If I'm, if I'm, if I'm meant, if I'm terminally sick, right? Yeah, if you're I can, terminally I can ill, that's a, to, different, right? that's a different no, story. What if I'm not and I just fuck this? I don't, I don't like my friends. I don't like my life. I just want out. Like, why can't I? Because I feel like there's but other ways of doing. Like, but that's my choice. Then go jump off a bridge. I know, but if that's what wanna, I'm saying is we don't have... give people that option so that that they resort to the to the more violent option. Or the more dangerous option that could potentially Feels I can land else. on somebody else. If you got so sick and people tired, ha- people get injured trying to rescue me when I don't want to be rescued. But I have to do something violent or, or dangerous to kill myself because run the new motorcycle in the garage here. Go, don't, even, <laughs> don't even haunt, close the, the, open haunt the show forever. Yeah. But don't most people who attempt suicide <laughs> and they fail, so they you know survive the attempt. Don't most of them say they regret their decision? Yeah, but that's that's a choice. So that's just I'm saying. And like every one of them that was successful doesn't regret it. I'm sure okay, that kid fine. that jumped off the the cruise ship was floating in the water, but like, well, maybe this wasn't the best idea. Maybe he wanted to. Like, I mean, it's his choice. Nah, that's like one of those really quick dumb decisions. Yeah, but who are you? Who are we to judge someone else's choice? Well, I'm, I don't I mean, we're, judge. We're in a country like about freedoms. And, I don't. Know. I'm not judging at all. But I'm just saying, <laughs> and I've had quite a few friends that have committed suicide. Not judging when your time to go is time to go. I'll tell you this. If I live to be 90, I'm checking myself out. I have no desire to be fucking 90 years old. Unless medical. You think medical is going to, like, we're not going to, like. Laura doesn't want to change her fucking diapers anyway. No, exactly. So I'm definitely checking myself out if I'm that old. Um, Yeah, but they won't let you. They let will me. not let you. That's what I'm saying. They won't let you. I'll walk in front of a bus. I don't care if I don't, if I'm in pain and I'm yeah, but old. See, now, you, now, you put, now you put the people on the bus at risk. Well, you know, I'm just saying. I'm gonna figure it out. And that's exactly what I'm saying. Is I'm is you should have the choice if you want to. Right, I agree, but and they won't let you. No, but so don't ruin my fucking day. To... I'm minding my own business, riding on a damn bus, <laughs> exactly. and a poor bus driver who's now, you know, he, now he's got a trauma for yeah, years. Yeah, he's never gonna drive a uh, bus again. I'm, I'm saying that Joe's saying like they won't let you. I'm like, dude, if there's a will, there's a way. People are gonna find a way. Well, that's why now it's now it's available in ten states. Right. So if you're gonna go to a it's doctor, like marijuana. That's, I'm not against it, Joe. I'm, I'm saying, just saying it started as a few states. Are I want to open it's it. Like 27. I, I'm even more. I want to open it up. I'm like, hey, yeah. let's do it to people who don't even want to do it themselves. Now, like, now you're talking about forcing it on someone. That's a different story. Well, but it's not about choice then. But if they're, you know, showing that they're hurting themselves, other people, like well, there's I there's mean, plenty of inmates in the fucking like have killed a million people that are fucking decrepit well, and they're the never going to better. Systems fucked up to begin. They're with. pedophiles. I think every pedophile should just be fucking euthanized right now let's just do that because they're never going to fucking be rehabilitated and they're fucking a waste of space and taxpayer dollars that's my that's my opinion but you talk about someone who gets like arrested for murder it takes like but that's no but it's like oh 27 years ago and we're going to execute it now there's there's a what the fuck were you doing for the last 26 years right but there's reasons fucking do it and get it over with there's crimes of passion there's crimes of greed there's crimes of there's different crimes of people but you kill someone like boom I, but not all of them, I don't think all, just because you're classified with a murder doesn't mean you should get the death penalty. That's why we were, we were ending this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Speaking of things ending. <laughs> not, uh, not a happy one either. No. Laura didn't even want to start tonight. Let's say that. Mm-hmm. I was fine up until right before you hit the record button. Oh, yep. Jesus Christ. And we have proof it's on tape. It's not. It's not. No. Uh, 
It's not. And you still had to perform for the last two hours. Yep. Well, but dance monkey. <laughs> 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 I was thinking that too. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh my god! All right, let's get a vote. Can we vote? If, yeah. If <coughs> is this lighting bad for Laura? Because she yes. said it's bad lighting. Boot. Yes. I boot. All right. What are the other options? Uh, you can't change here. them. I was gonna fix it for her the whole time, but Here's I decided other, not to. The other option. No, because I, mean, I need. I need light on this side of my face. Nah, just show the other this side. This side of my That's face. That's your bad side. That's your evil side. There you Joe go, left Joe. Off shit. Yeah, Joe. <laughs> it does. It helps. It helps. I pointed you... that here. Look. Still not on the right side of my face. Well, you're sitting next that. to a wall. Yeah, it's hard. It you want me to turn fine this last one? Week. Yeah. You want to move yeah, back, yeah, Joe? Yeah, turn that one, Joe. It's fine, because then there goes Jay's no, left. No, I got mine right here. I'm good. Fine. Let's see what it looks like. We're ending the show. It doesn't matter. See? Much better. It'll be ready for next week. Okay, and what's Jay going to have? Shoot, shoot Jay. Yeah, exactly. See, then... Jay, Jay gets side light. I like the mood lighting. Yeah, hold there on. you go. We're going to just do that for Jay. <coughs> no side light for us. There. Let's let's see Laura again. We side light for Jay. Show. No, you got to judge we'll to see what the, the, the revision is like. Yeah, I mean, that's see. flat lighting. If you like flat lighting, that's fine. Whatever. Jay's got side see. lighting. What know. do you think you have? I you have see. full face light. Yeah, I mean, I don't care about me. He, he likes he likes a right, facial. He's the star of the show. You're you're bitching at me because I want the same light that you have, and that's much better. No wrinkles at all. It's not even that. I just I have a other side of the fucking face. I was looking like Phantom of the Opera before this shit. That's a good musical. It's great, great. Joe, turn on that light next to you. This That'll get me right there. That one's fine. Mm -hmm. but, no, you gotta turn it on. Other okay. other way. Not, it's not on. Uh, maybe oh, there you go. To push down instead of up. So a little more light on Jay. You open the yeah. The baffles. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Oh. See, we're. I mean, shine the light. Lighting is not an exact science. It's literally preference. Well, and we, we change we it every Lisa week. To come here, right? And, and if it's and preference, it. and you yell at me because I said I want my lighting a different way because you changed it. No, yeah, five seconds before the show starts, she's like bitching about her lighting. I'm like, this was supposed to be a tech-free issue. Show I had everything worked out. Five seconds before the show starts, <laughs> she bitches about having a shadow because on her you face. Changed uh -huh. the light. I don't know why you changed you know why the lighting. You know why he's doing this, right? Because angry oh, sex is angry better. Oh, angry sex is the best. We'll, <laughs> yep, we'll yeah, make right. up. We'll make up later. Woo yeah, right. Yeah. I'm still fucking mad at you. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be in bed. That's her slapping it's, his exactly. ass. Exactly. Yeah, it's bet. it's nine eighteen p.m. She'll be in bed by ten p.m. Okay. Oh. All right, y'all. It's been a good show. Been fun. We don't take sides over here. No, no. Yeah, but we, we secretly take Team Laura. Team Laura. <laughs> That's fine. Everybody can. We we all do. We do. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Poll, poll the audience. Everybody can poll the audience. There's only three people left, and I'm one of them, so I still win. Okay. Whoa. All right, y'all. We are gonna skedaddle boodle out of here. Um, the licking with Laura show. <laughs> <laughs> The bitchin' with Laura show. Mm -hmm. Bitchin' at Laura. All right. We'll see you next week. Let's drink with Drew. Be sure to like, share, tell subscribe. your grandma about us, subscribe, all of our good shows, Instagram, Twitter, X, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, Yeah. We'll be back next week. See ya. Keep it metal. All right, everybody. This has been another episode of the Drinking with Drew show. <coughs> Stay tuned for more uploads, more shows. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Humble Social, <laughs> all the socials. Our live shows are Tuesday at 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. Feel free to check us out live. You can call into the show and be a part of it. See you soon. <laughs>